Alright, 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 good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome, my name is Resorty, and to you, one and all, I say hello friends. Welcome, welcome, happy Saturday morning round here, happy uh, Friday evening where you are, whichever way, happy, happy, happy weekend. Hope the weekend is looking swell for you, unfortunately it was once again snowing last night, and so it's going to be a cold weekend it seems Maybe warming up against next, warming up against next week rather. But uh, at this point, we have just a nice cold weekend for us, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, gonna stay inside probably more than I like to, but who knows? Who knows? Hello to you, Snoot. How's it going, my friend? Welcome in, Core. Welcome in, Slivers. Hello, Silence. Good to see you today, Water Boy. Marks a pleasure as always. Hello, Sage. Welcome back. Yo. Hello to Jam. Hello to Cyber Oracle. Hi, Fernethis. Welcome to you, Volo and Yarlris and everybody else. Is snow rare in Japan? Uh, depends on what part of Japan you're in. Uh, up in the north, it's very, very common. Uh, Tokyo is similar in um, uh, location, latitude, longitude. Lo longitudinally similar. Latitudinally similar. Whichever one you want, that means the up and down. Uh, it is similar to Virginia in the US of A. So it is... Uh, getting some snow occasionally, uh, that said, it doesn't tend to accumulate, doesn't tend to accumulate uh, around these parts. It tends to show up for just a day or so and then dissipate pretty quickly. If you go up to the north, though, you do get substantial snow, really, really high, similar to uh, North Dakota uh, in, in the U.S., so it, it differs. Exactly right. Similar to D.C. weather, you'll see occasional snow, but nothing like uh, northern Midwest. The latter runs are latitude. Yeah, we're not doing this. <laughs> we're not doing this. <laughs> I agree with you. I think you're right. But if I talk on stream about latitude and longitude, everyone just gets confused and it's very, very, very sad. I think of Japan as being tropical since island. Yeah, I think um, the southern part of Japan, namely Okinawa, is thought of as tropical. Um, but the southern part here I live in is called semi-tropical instead. So it's occasionally tropical-ish. We, you know, we do have a um, a palm tree just down the street, uh, but it is also you know, various in the weather. And though the winter, uh, the summer gets very, very humid, it's not crazy hot at least. So it's okay. It's an okay place to live. I'm enjoying it for sure. Uh, let's see, what do we have to share today? One thing is it's my father's birthday. So dad, if you're watching the VOD, happy birthday, dad. I know my parents occasionally stop in and watch the VOD because this update right here every day is how they check in on me and how they know what I'm doing day to day. Uh, some people make a phone call. Other people stream to Twitch. That's how we do this thing here. <laughs> so happy birthday, Dad, sincerely. Uh, other than that, what we got, what we got. Uh, I have a haircut scheduled tomorrow, and I'm so excited. It's been three months. I tend to be a month and a half kind of guy for the haircut, but yeah, three months this time, my, my barber is going to be despondent that I'm trying to rip him off by coming less frequently. How is he going to feed his family? Is he going to send his kid to college if uh, if I don't come regularly? No, that's it. It's kind of far away, but an hour train commute to get there, but looking forward to it. It's always a very nice time. Uh, the, the proprietor is someone I try my Japanese on every time uh, because before I spoke any Japanese, when I first got here, he was uh, so, so generous and kind as he tried very hard to speak English. I tried very hard to speak Japanese and we had a nice bonding moment of our rough inability to do any of it. So I, I like this barber a lot, which is why I go so far away to see him, but that is tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, yesterday was a really fun day in the old Resortiverse, because uh, yesterday after teaching was done, we had a night of trivia, the second ever trivia night at the university. And uh, this time they did a very, very smart thing, because you'll recall that last time we had a... Uh, a trivia night at the university, the faculty, the staff, the students, everyone was in one big competition. And this was a horrible, horrible thing. 
because of course the faculty have such an advantage because we spend all of our time learning stuff and we're old. <laughs> and so last time the faculty teams, all of them defeated the student team by quite a bit. And I think the students were kind of frustrated and, and sort of bored actually after a certain point because the faculty were over there you know, cheering and having a great time while the students were just like, oh, I don't know that one, don't know that one, right? Uh, so this time the faculty and staff uh, were on one uh, bracket, uh, one standings and the uh, students run another one and, and they did not compete against each other and that is such a better thing so there were three faculty teams uh actually there were four faculty teams in total and about 12 student teams and uh yeah it went pretty well on our side uh, we did miss a few definitely had some questions about pop culture and sports that we just didn't know uh there's one like who released the album sweetener five years ago and we all kind of looked at each other. Well, the students were delighted. They knew right away that Ariana Grande had released the album Sweetener, which I was so glad for, because uh, last trivia night was so much stuff that was just difficult for students because it happened before they were live. Uh, this time, the questions were much more uh, fair, and there were some that were old school, like 1997, and others that were much more present and harder for us. Uh, that said, uh, my team did win the, uh, the staff and faculty side, uh, for, for that, we got a nice bag of desserts and chocolate bars and coffee and so many nice other things. But they spent too much money because every single one of us, every single uh, person on the team, all five of us, got our own uh, bag of, of delicious things. And this came out of student activity money. I told them already that like faculty will c uh, come to these things and compete solely to hold it over each other's heads. <laughs> like, one of my colleagues, who is a bit of a know-it-all show-off, was not on the winning team. And I will remind him of this every day of the rest of his life. <laughs> so, like, we'll, we'll come and compete simply for, uh, you know, simply for the, the fun of it, the competition of it. But, uh, yeah, they, they gave these nice gift bags to the faculty and staff that uh, probably were you know, 2,500 or so yen each, so about 20 bucks each. Uh, I'm now obligated to give return gifts. Exactly right. I've got to give gifts back to the organizers now to thank them. And then they need to give me a gift back and we're stuck in the endless cycle of Japanese gift giving. But it was a really good time. Uh, the student's uh, prize was free admission to a, an aquarium. Uh, so all five people on the team got to an aquarium. And, and let, me, let me now be incredibly braggy. This is the part of the, this story that makes me proudest more than anything else. Uh, the student team that won had five people, four of whom were my students. <laughs> uh, I could probably take no credit for that, but uh, I was very, very loud about that last night and very, very glad about that. So, hooray! Yeah, it was a good time, though. Many of you know I love trivia so much. It just it, it itches or tickles a part of the brain that, uh, that very little else in life does. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I've talked about trying to do trivia on stream at some point, uh, like a little fun community activity, but I think it's much easier to police cell phone use uh, when one is in a room with people and much, much harder to do it when we're all typing and through screens and so on. So it just wouldn't be possible to have it seem fun and fair in the same way uh, as in-person trivia would be. So probably never going to do that, but I'd like to, kind of like to. Hey, how's it going? If you want students winning as faculty make questions about pop culture the last five years, you're absolutely right. I mean, there were other moments where, like, thankfully we figured it out, but it was one like, um, you know, Christopher Nolan is well known for making films. He made, um, you know, these various Batman films and Oppenheimer. He has eight films other than that, name six of them. And for a brief moment, we all just stared at each other, like, what, what do you mean there are other films? Now, of course, we've seen almost all of them. <laughs> so it's films like The Prestige. It's films like, um... Uh, Memento, right? All of these many, many, many other films. And we came up with them with not too much trouble, but there's always this, this moment of, oh, I don't know things at all. It's not in there. And then thank goodness it actually is in there. Uh, but it was it was a good time for sure. So, my, oh, my favorite round. I should tell you my favorite round. The 10th question of the general knowledge round, the opening round, was a, a sheet of pictures. Each table got a picture. And they had to identify what was in the picture. And the picture was different kinds of cheeses. <laughs> so it was, look at this block of cheese. What kind of cheese is that? 
And boy, howdy, was that entertaining. <laughs> because <laughs> one of the members at our table is a bit of a cheese snob. And so the first cheese was um, a blue cheese. They wanted the answer, blue cheese. And so we put down blue, and he started arguing about... Now, is it a Stilton? Is it a Gorgonzola? Is it, you know, various other kinds of blue cheeses? <laughs> and he would not let it go. <laughs> and so it was really fun, though. It was fun to see uh, it was kind of knowledge I have because I like cheese uh, being useful in some way. So it was a good time. It was a very, very good time. Um, and I think, like, the one place we had a profound advantage was the facts about Japan category. Uh, we had a professor of contemporary Japanese studies uh, at our table. And so one of the questions that I think was probably included to make the native Japanese students feel super useful uh, was like, here are some shapes. Which of them are, uh, what are the names of the provinces that are these shape? Like this kind of question of like, what state is this? Um, and so the Japanese professor just wrote it in very quickly, no problems, but I didn't know any of them, <laughs> though, though I very easily know what Oklahoma looks like. The guy, idea of like Kanagawa, what does Kanagawa look like? I don't know, it's south of here, past that no idea. So it's the kind of thing that a child could probably very easily figure out, but uh, as an adult who lives here, I just don't know at all. <laughs> so maybe one of these on, uh, days on stream, we'll spend some time learning the shapes of Japanese provinces. There are 47 of them, I believe. So lots of doing, lots of counting. Uh, being a much smaller landmass than the U.S. has a very similar number of, of, of states. So that's, a, that's something for sure. That's how it goes. If I want me to lose a faculty bracket, have questions about math, computer science, and home improvement, it's true. We did have a computer science uh, professor at the table last night, so I think think he would be able to handle math, computer science. Uh, we do try very hard to build the team uh, based on areas of specialty. So, so my job is, uh, yeah, unfortunately, part of my job is sports, which, no. <laughs> I was the strongest on sports they could find. Uh, my job, though, is you know, generally like cultural history as well as um, yeah, philosophy and humanities, of course. Uh, Namda's job is like recent pop culture and then antiquity. Um, the computer science guy also has a tremendous interest in um, in like geography and going on vacations and weird places around the world. And so I put the team together based on uh, on useful factors perhaps more than who we actually like. Like, I like all these people just fine, but it's not exactly my best friends on campus. Instead, it's, hmm, well, let's just win. And we did, and that's what matters. <laughs> anyway, that is my story. Hope you're having a very good day. Uh, it's the weekend. Any big plans for you all? Anything you'll be planning to do uh, around here? The cherry blossoms are doing their thing. That said, it is a little windy, a little rainy, possibly a little snowy, so we probably will not go out for a walk for any of them. But uh, hopefully get a little time outside anyway, because I'm a little tired of getting stuffed up inside. You know, as it becomes spring and then summer, I'm looking forward to just enjoying the air a little bit. Be able to open the windows. Yeah, open the windows is a feeling I always find so desirable. And then definitely in the fall is, no, 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 close the windows. But fresh air is so good. Uh, visiting the pharmacy, doing food shopping. Uh, Cora, I don't know where you're from, but one big difference for me between the U.S. and Japan is how often I go shopping. Uh, in general, Japanese folks have much smaller refrigerators. And so they go shopping every two or three days. Uh, we're in the U.S., you know, we'd load up the car and be good to go for, for a week or two. It's been a big shift. Uh, with no car, you just carry a bag around and fill the bag up, and then a couple days later, you fill the bag up again. It's definitely different than that. Um, Sage, not that much this weekend, just chilling. That is great, absolutely great. Uh, it is a uh, nice way to spend a weekend, just refreshing, enjoying yourself, seems good. Uh, do we do any community gardening? Uh, we don't here. Uh, Noms, my wife, does have a um, small garden set up on our balcony upstairs. Um, it is... <laughs> It started from her having vegetables that she would cut apart, uh, you know, vegetables from the grocery store, and saying like, huh, if I plant this, what will happen? And so she was like planting beans and planting the end of the cilantro and, you know, all these different things. And some of them have actually grown. Some have actually grown pretty decently. And then since then, she's bought other plants to supplement it. Um, there is a community garden not super far from here that we've thought about taking part in. Uh, but the community garden nearby is 
I don't know how to think about it. So it's a, a large plot of open land that's then subdivided into uh, smaller plots for, for individuals or families or whomever to use. Uh, but as I understand it, you get to decide how much you want to engage with your plot. So if you want to, <laughs> you can just say to the people who work there, I would like to have some strawberries or whatever you want. And they will do the process of planting the seeds and tending the soil and watering it. And then eventually it grows and they will prune it. And then they will pick the strawberries and give you the strawberries. <laughs> so it's like special order of food if you want. Or you can say, man, I'd love to just pick the berries. And so they will grow them and then you get to pick them instead. Or you can say, I would love to do the tending, but I don't want to do the picking, right? All these different steps on the way. So if you want to, you can go all the way, do every step that like in an American community garden. Uh, but, but here's kind of, uh, I don't know, concierge community gardening, maybe. Uh, it's definitely a for-profit company running it as opposed to just like the local homeowners association or uh, a community league. So it is for profit, but definitely, definitely different. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's interesting to walk by and see people working out there, some of whom are obviously like in uniforms and they are the workers of the place and others are, you know, families with kids. And we might try it sometime. Uh, for right now though, the balcony garden is okay at least. If you're going to seed some grocery store vegetables, the results can be good or sketchy. Uh, so far, they've looked good. Now, we haven't died from them, <laughs> but yeah, so far there, we've not had any problems with what she's grown, I don't think. Uh, now, we'll see if that actually continues, uh, but it's been pretty good, pretty good indeed. Japan loves a uniform, hey, you better believe it, absolutely. Uh, there are a lot of uniforms in places that one might not expect if you come from other places, but yeah, basically every job site... There's some kind of uniform. Um, e even if there's not an explicit uniform, there's an implicit uniform, which is why one you know, hears about the, the salary man with the very, very plain black pants, white shirt, black jacket, black tie. Uh, it is just the way it's done. And uh, you probably do not have a rule that says you have to do that, but you do it anyway. Why? Because you don't want to stand out. And that's something that, uh, yeah, yesterday my students and I were talking about like social roles and gender roles and gender norms. And so many of the Japanese students said things like, I totally believe what my American fellows are saying, that all this is up to me, I get to decide what it is to be a woman and all these good things. But the pressure, man, the pressure. <laughs> and I think this is something that as an American I have some trouble with. Like, I do recognize that other people approve or disapprove of me, and I want people to like me, and that's, you know, good enough. Uh, but, but for my Japanese women students yesterday, they were saying, like, they cannot conceive of themselves as ignoring or not worrying about other people's judgments. And they said part of the reason why they're at the school, this non-Japanese university, is to learn how to do that. To learn how to say it's okay if people disapprove, or it's okay to stand out a little bit. But even though they're in their 20s now, it's still really, really hard. And I, I sympathize so much, and I'm so glad I can be part of that conversation. And so a part of that... Uh, a part of that hopefully growth for them but it's a it's a fight that i myself am not having to fight and uh I, i'm very glad for that for sure hello hpg it's good seeing you everyone's come in recently thanks for being here thanks for hanging out for sure it's been a it's been a nice day already just stopping by and seeing you all so yeah, yeah it's all good all good i think those are my stories i think that's what i got for you right now uh definitely on monday i said this yesterday but now it's been confirmed uh yesterday on monday we'll be playing a little game called new cycle New Cycle is going to be a game um, that we're being at, uh, paid to sponsor, or sponsored to play, which states advertise. There we go. Uh, we played it once before. It was a really fun game, a base builder, kind of like Anno. We'll do that again on Monday, so that'll be good. And then past that, I'm not sure what we're playing next week. So that'll be a big surprise in the future. Who knows? Who knows? HPG, it's your first day of almost 50. Hey, HPG, does that mean it's your birthday? Happy birthday, HPG. It's good to see you. Uh, today, I'll give you your full name. Happy birthday, hits people guy. That's a lot of words, but you got them all. Happy birthday, my friend, sincerely. Uh, is Japan very conservative uh, when in terms of holding up old traditions? Oh, sure, absolutely. It's a culturally conservative nation um, for a bunch of reasons, including a, uh, a worry about individual people and novelty. If an individual person tries to 
produce something that's novel and different. This is dangerous to the stability of the society, and so they tend to be ostracized instead of, you know, encouraged to explore. And, uh, yeah, I, I think that that's a, a difference from some of the places I've lived before, at least. You know, beyond that, I think that, um, obviously traditions go as meaning, right? Traditions are not just old ways of controlling people, but instead they're important ways. Um, so, important ways of experiencing the world and finding meaning. So, uh, you know, you have Thanksgiving with your family. Why? Because we've always had Thanksgiving with our family. That's what one does. And so it structures one's life. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, Japan is a culturally conservative place. Um, it has been for a very, very long time. Absolutely. All right. I'd like to play some video games, friends. Uh, so today we're going to play a little game called 60 Seconds. We played this one last weekend. It's an older game, but one that I never played before last week. It's a game that I've enjoyed very much. You have 60 seconds to mad dash around uh, your family home to find the items you need to sustain yourself as nuclear war happens outside. Radiation and explosion and death. And you must survive for some period of time. Four characters inside of a bunker, sending people out into the wasteland to explore, keeping folks alive, responding to various kinds of unfortunate, unfortunate circumstances inside the bunker. And then uh, occasionally people just don't come home. Occasionally you send people out to go look at some kind of uh, lost items and they die. It's, it's very sad. It's a very, very sad game in some ways. So we'll see how it goes this time. Hey, cat, help you. You downloaded Backpack Battles and you haven't blinked in three hours. See, I told you this is true. Backpack Battles, such a fun game. It's one that's uh, it's very, very hard to put down. I'm very proud of myself that we are not playing Backpack Battles today because I could have kept playing it forever. But yeah, the time just flies. Uh, it's definitely going onto my top 10 games of the year list. Uh, I know some streamers do this, where that the last day of the year they'll say, here are my favorite games of the year. And I, I don't really do that because I have trouble rating things that I like. Um, but, but if I had to pick a top 10 games, definitely Backpack Battles is on it right now. Uh, even though it's not my normal kind of game, it is just a lot of fun. Just a lot of fun for sure. It's all good. Hello, Quick Ben. You're excited to watch this game? Very cool. Uh, I'm also looking forward to it. I see you said that you had a blast last time I played this one. Uh, you had a blast much less than my characters did, especially the poor children that we left outside repeatedly. They definitely got to experience that blast. Have I played Backpack Battle off stream since yesterday, Resorty? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I have no, absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Uh, all right, I'll do this now. So we have an ad break coming in a moment. I do intend to do a little bit of crossword puzzle. That would be a good thing. But then I'm gonna do this one. All right, friends, it's time for us to play our video game. Time to play some 60 seconds. Here we go. All right, I'll come up in just one second. Give it a second. Uh, gonna capture, gonna capture. Oh, that doesn't work. What, what, what? That's what I meant to do. <laughs> All right, the joke would have failed anyway, but I was gonna pull backpack battles and pretend like we're playing this today. Wouldn't that have been fun? Yeah. I only played a little bit yesterday, and uh, so the Berserker's at 56 gold, the Ranger's at 21 gold, the Pyromancer at 74 gold, and the Reaper, I haven't played anymore. So that is, that is how this thing is going. Uh, with that said, there's actually a balance patch this morning. Uh, the balance patch uh, weakened the ease of the Pyromancer's uh, resurrection build. Um, it is not nearly as effective as now, and it also weakened one of the Berserker builds, which were very, very strong, and apparently were considered to be the top meta builds, so they're weaker now. That's how it goes. How it goes, how it goes. So, don't worry, we won't actually play this, it was just ha 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 fun times. What we will do, though, we have an ad break coming straight away, so we'll go ahead and run the ad break. We'll do some crosswords. Uh, yesterday, you might recall, the New Yorker crossword was only a mini. So a very, very tiny one that got done very, very, very quickly. And uh, today, we'll see what they give us for the Friday. It better not be a another mini, or we'll see. Is Backpack Battles my new World of Warcraft? It's a mini. No. <laughs> Uh, yes, Back of Battles is a game, if I'm not careful, it will take over my life. Uh, this morning I talked to my father on the phone for his birthday, which is very nice, I enjoyed that. Uh, but I may have been playing Back of Battles while doing so. It is possible. Alright, so it looks like, at least this week, we got one, two, three normal crosswords. And then two mini crosswords. 
We'll see if this is the way it's going to be every week or just one for one time for fun. A bite-sized puzzle. Hey, no blacks. That's fun. No black puzzle. Always a good time. Let's see how long this takes us. They might be ordered Al Pastor Tacos. Uh, popular Naproxen brand. Is, is that um, is that one of the Advil, I think? Maybe. It might be Aleve. Not sure. Italy's fashion capital. I have no idea. What's the down? Less wild. Tamer. Probably Milan, then. Uh, Sinister Forces Evil. Uh, Witherspoon of Wild. Reese spelled this way, I think. All right. So something is incorrect. Probably Advil, I'm guessing. Also, the Reese might be an ass. We'll see. Is it still blank? Horrified question for stomping on a roach, maybe. Alive. Is it a leave? Uh, what is wrong then? Reese, like that. There you go. Ba da ba da 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 da. <laughs> All right. So the ad actually hasn't started yet. <laughs> the, the ad is still waiting, unfortunately. Uh, Snoot, you started doing crosswords and watching me. It's very humbling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that when you first start in crosswords, there's a lot you don't know. You will learn it. Just keep practicing. You'll be just fine. Uh, we need a helpless test. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't help me. How dare you consider helping me on a difficult crossword like this? <laughs> Should I play Backpack Bowser in the ads? I guess I could. The ad is now running. So we have three minutes from now. Uh, I could add in, like, the universal puzzle, I guess. That's the way to pass time. Or sure. Sure. Let's play Backpack Battles during uh, the ad breaks. That seems like a fair thing to do. My only worry is... Um... Can my computer actually run two games simultaneously while also uh, streaming? We'll see, we'll see. It's just during the ads, don't you worry. Uh, so far, not super laggy. Uh, let's, during the ads today, play... They changed the title screen and I can't find anything. Uh, let's play Hunter... I would like to play Hammer Build, we'll see. Uh, two minutes left, here we go. Regeneration early game, so strong, we love it. Uh, let's pull that pull that string, sure. We got there a lovely banana. I'd like both the dagger and the whetstone. I'm gonna take the dagger for now and save the whetstone. Cool, battle number one. Now here's the further thing. I'm gonna go top speed. All right, we'll see what happens. Hey, Zambri, I saw you were playing this game. I saw you bought it recently. I lose! Terrible, terrible. Zambri, it's awesome seeing you. How's the gaming been, my friend? All right. So that's a loss. It was very close, though. So now, if we add the whetstone, we should be a big winner. We can buy the piggy to get some additional health as well. No crossword break makes you sad. Blame the New Yorker for putting out a very short crossword. <laughs> Uh, okay, as of right now, I'm being given the bow, which is useful for the, the spikes build as well as for the luck build. Um, we can add this item and potentially be okay on, on stamina. Yeah, we'll be fine. All right, ring that bell. Top speed. We're in the ad break, Cyber Oracle, and the crossword's already done, so a win, glorious. Uh, all right, if we want to go for the, the cross swords, buying our sword right now would be good. Uh, I tend not to go jewels on our buddy here, so I'm going to grab this. I trust we'll get more swords in a bit. I need to see how many whetstones come in at this point. So, whetstones and gloves. Armor. Armor. Armor, armor, armor. Very expensive armor, though. We could sell things back and... I'm saying no on that for right now. Uh, carrots become very strong once we get our luck up. As of right now, we don't have any luck generation, but this will help our banana fire more quickly. If we move things around like this. Sure. All right. We've got 10 seconds left. Do we lose to Pyromancer Fun? She has no healing. She does have shielding. I believe we win. Oh, it was close. There's a win, though. All right, friends. That is the first crossword ad break of the day. We'll come back to this one in an hour or so. Between now and then, as promised, it's time to play a little game called... What's this game called? Uh, 60 Seconds, I believe. 60 Seconds, I believe. So, if you were not here last weekend, you would have missed a bunch of fun. Uh, the aim of the game is you 
uh, play as a father or mother who grab uh, as many items as possible during a nuclear warning. The bomb they're dropping is save yourselves. After the 60 seconds, you go into a bunker and probably just die. We'll see how that goes, though. <laughs> so here comes a new game. Um, you'll recall the things I wanted more than anything last run. A radio. We have never successfully found the radio to begin the game. Um, food and water, obviously very important. The children... I'm not sure. We've done the very best previously when we have not taken the children with us. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, let's just run one and see how this thing goes. All right. We'll begin as good old Ted. I believe Ted and Dolores are exactly the same. I thought maybe Dolores would be weaker but faster and Ted fa uh, slower but stronger. But I think they're exactly the same all the way through. Ted, normal difficulty... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The radio, I like the radio. Let's we'll see if we can find the radio first. Important work. All right, we have 10 seconds to look around. The tuba sound you hear there. I think I see the radio. I see the radio. I see the radio. I have the radio. Okay, radio is one holder. I think our wife is two, is she three? She's a, uh, two, all right, we have our wife, we have a radio, we have one water. All right, hello child, you're coming along. I'm not sure if you should come along, but you will. Come along, ax. All right, rifle on the wall, we'll grab that next. We then have no food, only one water so far. So food, water, not sure tuba girl comes along. We'll see how it goes, that's 30 seconds done. I have a, a med kit right there. Med kit's huge. All right. Got some more food. Daughter, you're still... I'm unsure about you. One, two. We really need water. So I think our last run will be bathroom. If possible. Oh, it's kind of clunky. Kind of clunky. Bathroom's here. Water. No more water. What's this? Harmonica. I've never seen harmonica. That's what we got. That's what we got. Sorry, daughter. Enjoy your tuba. Have a nice life. All right. All right, all right, all right. Made it in. <laughs> so I would have liked more water. I know that for sure. But we got the radio. For the first time ever, we found the radio. Ah, <sighs> nice. Day one. Welcome to the bunker. Ah, <sighs> good old Timmy's staring at the light like a moth always. Hey, down here we started with... Um, the padlock. We hadn't gotten that, and so here it is. And I believe we started more water also. Let us see. Almost all of us made it to the shelter. Almost. All we can do now is start thinking of creative ways to serve our canned soup. We can't remember bring those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. Plus one lockpick. Our shells are full of cans. We'll eat from cans, sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means you don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stocked shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure it's a good amount of supplies. Uh, ton of ration supplies. Today, no one gets anything. No one gets any food or water. We're regular family, so we have the occasional argument or two, but it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Let's hope it won't last too long. All right, a little cranky time to get started. Day one accomplished, good to good. Now, there are two things I did not get that I wish I had right now. One is one I always tried to get last time, namely a luggage piece or a backpack. Something to help us uh, carry things around more effectively. So until we get one of those, we can only take one item with us when we go out into the, into the wild, excuse me. Number two, we don't have a gas mask. And so with no gas mask, we shouldn't leave the, um, the bunker until the radiation's quite a bit farther down as we start. We stopped arguing, but for how long? Ted is fine, life's hard for right now, but Dolores is in good mood. We hope it'll stay this way. Timmy's good, at least he was five minutes ago. Again, no supplies. Uh, it's a fast, it's a cleansing fast, you're gonna be good. 
Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips the surface, big risk should we go. Clearly not. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans. We have eaten no soup. Where do they come from? That unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Both of them are attracting strangely glowing, suspiciously big insect wildlife. Roaches weren't that big before the war, were they? Uh, so if we had some bug spray or a survival manual, we could do something here. We didn't grab either of those, so we just accept the trash can becoming ever dirtier than before. All right. Behind my shoulder there, you'll see our little friend the roach is now here. Ted's beard is growing out a little bit. What happens today on day three? Oh my, that thing is huge. And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We already feel all dirty. Ted, really thirsty. Dolores, also thirsty. Timmy, also thirsty. Drinks for everyone today. Hooray! Uh, contamination still strong? Not yet. Play a game, they said. It'd be fun, they said. They never mentioned picking one would be so trouble. Sub, so much trouble. So no hard work today. Just another day passes. The road still lives with us. We decided to act the scenes from our favorite movies to amuse ourselves, at least for a moment. For some reason, every time we picked a new scene, we ended up with one from a Humphrey Bogart film. Bogart? Bogart film. Uh, play it again, Sam. And, uh... What else do I know about Humphrey Bogart? Nothing, unfortunately. Today, no one gets anything. Once again, no one gets anything. We could have sworn that huge puddle of water wasn't there earlier. And there it goes, another one. Oh, damn it, we're getting flooded. Let's grab some supplies before they start floating. Save the radio. The radio must be saved. Another day down. I think that the farthest we've gotten so far is day 30-something. Might be true, can't remember. The radio was rescued first before any of the filthy liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage it had done was enough to upset us. Cleaning and fixing this mess will take us days. And what's that smell? Ted seems to be doing all right. Today's relatively calm for Dolores. Nothing new on Timmy. Supplies time. Nothing. Nothing for anyone. Still highly radioactive. This is insane! We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup, they're in our water. We swear some of them keep coming back and they're bigger every time we see them. It can't go on like this. It's time to wage war on the spiders. So if we want to, we can use our medicine, first aid kit, to fight the spiders. Now, one thing I didn't do last time we played was refuse to use an item. Um, anytime we had an item that we could use, I did use. I don't know what happens if I allow the spiders to take us over. <laughs> like, do they declare our bunker Spiderlandia, get a flag, and start minting currency? Because the the um, med kit seems so, so, so useful as a character who's untreated will eventually just die. But, well, the spiders eat the roaches. We start talking about spider bro. Remember, uh, a substantial meme period, maybe 10 years ago, was if you find a, a spider in your house, you could burn down the house. But no, the spiders are spider bro. They eat all these other um, other creatures. That was spider pig. or that? Something like that. I'm not going to use the med kit. We'll save it and see what happens. We're going to learn an important lesson here about frugality, I suspect. We decided we'd get rid of those spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever other body parts we could use for lethal anti-spider attacks. Unfortunately, we've underestimated their chances. They're really fast. All we achieved was getting tired. Maybe we'll have more luck next time. Uh, people want food and drinks? Not yet. One more day of rationing. The contamination is now only strong. Go in the right direction. It's been a while. We don't know what's happening on the surface. If only we had a chance to tune in to some emergency radio broadcast and learn a thing or two. This is why we brought the radio. If you do not have the radio, you'll get constant, where's your radio, where's your radio, where's your radio, events until you get a radio. So we have the radio. Let's listen and hear what we hear. Yeah, we don't have a map yet, unfortunately. That's the next step. 
we'll surely find one. We're able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. People have not eaten, nor did they drink, so it's time to have everyone get food and water, and tomorrow, somebody goes outside. Now, the best we've ever done with a character was sending Dolores outside. She came back with literal bagfuls, like Santa Dolores herself. Um, so we're gonna start preparing and send Dolores out tomorrow, I believe. It seems that for every cockroach we squat with our boots, two others take its place. It's time to do something about it before we get completely overrun. We have the rifle, we get shooting, it's gonna be amazing. Hopefully the bullets don't bounce off the concrete walls. <laughs> ah, the roach is now gone, hooray hooray. We were defeated! Nope, sorry, we have defeated! <laughs> The insidious roaches and driven them away. Their nests are ours. That should teach them a lesson. No one's hungry or thirsty. Time for supplies. Uh, I'm going to give Dolores nothing right now. She'll come back very hungry and thirsty, but she can have her food and drink refilled while her uh, stamina is refilling also. Enough sitting around. Time to visit the surface and look for supplies. Maybe someone survived the blast. Maybe someone's alive. Let's find out. Santa Dolores gets one item. I'm going to give her either the rifle or the axe. I think I'm going to say and my axe. So Gimli Dolores, I wish you the best of luck. And then there were two. Still looking kind of bored, unfortunately. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Nothing new to anybody else. Timmy's having a good day. Good job, Jimmy. Good job. Hey, Jim, good seeing you. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker. We start thinking about getting away as far as possible from the radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin a lovely neighborhood? We could do our own, of course. The escaping, not the ruining part. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open by using the radio. We made it 10 days. What did we learn? We made contact. The military's out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about that. Help is on the way. We need to wait for further instructions and keep the radio in working order. They want drinks. Tomorrow they'll get some drinks. It's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's night or day. Sleeping patterns are all messed up. These terrible light bulbs are not helping anyway. Too bad we can't replace them. There has to be something else we can do about this. So we could have sleeping pills and fall asleep. Uh, I believe the only penalty for not taking sleeping pills is these characters then won't be able to leave the bunker for a while because they'll be very sleepy. That's fine. Sleep is fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Has Timmy really lost his mind already? Are these the wages of my choices? Okay. We've had Crazy Timmy once before. He previously became Crazy Timmy by being left into the blast. All he had was a bad night of sleep, I think. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No look, we're even more tired than we were. And there are other problems we need to face soon. Let's hope our yawning will be enough to scare readers away or save from radiation sickness. Ted needs water. Ted needs food. Ted is tired. Timmy's in terrible shape. His behavior is odd. Why? What happened there? Uh, so just resting needs to happen. And then food and water for everybody. Being safe down here is a much better thing than being pulverized out there, but that doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we can take a walk soon. The neighborhood is probably much more peaceful since the bombings. The phone is ringing. We can take care of ourselves. Ted's not thirsty. Timmy is doing crazy things. Still has not slept. No longer thirsty either. 
supplies, nobody gets anything. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb dropped, yet here we are. We clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should we answer it? Of course we should. Go, Ted, go! Hey, friend Snoot! Snoot, thank you for the new subscription. I know you've been hanging out with us for a while. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Snoot, thank you, thank you, thank you for being a friend. That really means a bunch. The man on the, uh, on the, the GIF has a tie. I don't. I'm sorry, but I'm appreciative. Hello, friend. Uh, another day down. What is going on? We answered the phone. We could hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they'll get back to us. Ted's tired. Timmy's crazy. <clears throat> so here's the uh, mission goals. Uh, we made contact. We're awaiting instructions and I'm waiting for the military also. We get our missions as it goes along. They add to this page here. Okay. We're hearing a lot of noises coming from the neighborhood today. Our guess is there's a zoo escape and the anim animals are stampeding up there. Might be a good chance to hunt some fresh food. Who should go outside? I've never seen this event before. Ted will go. I can't give him the rifle. I wish I could. Good luck, Ted. Please don't get stepped on. Uh, Ted's not dead, at least. We found the herd and were able to bring down something that looked like a two-headed donkey that was carrying a package of sorts. Before we could get to it, a giant bird of prey swooped down, grabbed the carcass, and flew away. All that remained were a few cans of soup that fell out of the donkey's pack, plus three food. Nice. Timmy is still insane. I don't know how to help with craziness, unfortunately. Hey, it's a joyful time in a sea of grief. It's Timmy's birthday. Just like last year, we waited until the last moment to give him a present, but this time our options are limited to whatever we can find in the shelter. What's Timmy getting this year? Timmy, in hopes of recovering your uh, insanity or recovering your sanity, here you get a first aid kit. Yay, Timmy! Our, our wife's back. Dolores returns. A bottle of unlabeled pills sounded like a great idea for a gift. Timmy seemed to enjoy them. He's actually looking better now. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. After a bit of scouting, we arrived at the city hall. Half of it was still standing, while the other half turned out to be a gaping hole in the ground. We went to the ruins, hoping to find something useful. One of the surviving rooms was a small maintenance closet. The only thing inside was a bucket full of water with a mop standing in it. We managed to fill some bottles with the contents of the bucket. It does taste a bit funny, or we just hope it doesn't taste as soap. Or something worse. So we got some water. Our axe was destroyed. What a terrible expedition. Ted needs some drinks. Timmy is still acting very strange. He'd like some water also. And Dolores is back wanting some food. So... Two water for one axe. Worst trade ever. Uh, who wanted what again? So water, water, food. All right, all right, all right. Water, water. Nope. Food. Good. Okay. Um, it seemed awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Maybe it's not. We won't until we go out. So everyone's tired right now. We can't send anybody out. That is fine. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men, dressed like they come from medieval fair. We identified the sound of the so uh, source of the sound. They're hitting two rocks together. Uh, pretending one was a rider, they said they were looking for an antique cup, but they got lost or most grateful we'd let them check a map. Fire, we have one. We cannot help King Arthur on his quest, unfortunately. We have no map. On you go, Patsy. Enjoy your coconuts. Hopefully people get some sleep soon. Yeah, because all three of them are looking at pretty rough right now. We tried to decline politely. The guests were clearly offended. They galloped away, waving their swords and screaming something about cutting down shrubberies. Absolutely crazy! Alright, Ted's getting a little hungry. Ted's still tired. Dolores wants more food. Also wants some drinks. Timmy isn't himself. Needs more sleep. Alright, so everyone needs food now. And Dolores needs water now. Cap. 
Everyone's still in terrible condition. Maybe we can go out again. Uh, today we met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like Halloween doctor outfits. They claim to be a field hospital, moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazards of the wasteland. The problem is, similar supplies got eaten by something that looked like a Sasquatch. They're asking us if we have any spare hydrogen peroxide. We got some water. We got have some water. You want some water? Is there an item to help them sleep? Uh, not that I know of. Not that I know of. Uh, at least the characters who come back from outside, I think, need three or four days to regen their uh, stamina. The other two that aren't being able to sleep, I don't know how to help them, actually. We asked them for their doctor licenses, but all of them claimed they left them in another pair of trousers. We didn't dare ask if it was just the one pair. We gave them a water bottle and wished them a good journey, and better luck with trousers. Ted is still quite tired, Dolores needs to sleep, Timmy needs sleep, and also he's still a little crazy. No supplies today, no outside today. We opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, discovering a small suitcase on our doorstop. Uh, there was no note on it and the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? Absolutely, what's in the suitcase? Uh, Lord Vaso can be a little strange. Uh, I'm glad you're part of our community, but let's go take a 10 minute time out. Let's just chill, yo, let's chill. I merely pulled up backpack battles, whoops. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to look inside the door, uh, the, the bunker door uh, suitcase. Hopefully we can get the suitcase. Maybe what's inside is good too. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Alright. Hope it's not a bomb. Good luck, everyone. Everyone's still alive. Thank goodness. Timmy, still insane. There's no, uh, no such thing as too much water nowadays. We inspected it thoroughly after taking out the suitcase, but it looked absolutely harmless and purified. We hope to get to meet the generous stranger one day and thank him or her personally for keeping our family well hydrated. We get more water. All right, Ted wants water. Dolores wants food. Timmy uh, still doesn't recover his mental competence. We wish we could help him somehow. We have to find a psychiatrist as our next goal here. Needs more sleep, needs some water. Tomorrow you get water and food, nothing today. Friend Axix, hello. Hi Axix, happy Friday night. How's it going? We're stuck down here. That said, traitor alert! Timmy's salvage comic books are mostly harmless science fiction pulp. However, some of them don't feature the brave Astro Citizen program astronauts, but cosmonauts. The boy is eating up Soviet propaganda. What a disgrace. Should we banish Timmy to the Wastelands for his traitorous ways and dispose of the blasphemous comics? So, last time we got this event, I did not banish Timmy. And I believe he went crazy soon after that. So I do kind of sort of wonder, does Timmy always go crazy? Is that just the way Timmy's life's going to work out? Um, but no, we will not banish our son. We're going to believe that Timmy is not fully taken in by the Russians' ways. Instead, he is merely, uh, what is he merely? He's merely uh, interested in another culture. So, no. Timmy, you red. We oh, hear some beeping. We oh, hear some beeping. Oh, Ted looks aware again. I think Ted can go out today. We graciously allowed Timmy to stay in the shelter despite his actions. We believe in the power of rehabilitation and second chances. Also, run out of toilet paper, and the propaganda books do nicely. Do any of you know Morse code? Is it possible that little Timmy just sent a message to the Soviets about our location? Little Timmy? Uh, people want food. People want water. Ted is back in good shape. So Ted goes out again. Which means food and water for everybody. Tomorrow, Ted's in good shape. Let's go out, let's go out. We're able to catch a military broadcast again. This time they're asking us to get out with a flashlight and signal to a plane after dark. If all goes well, they should be able to find us. Sounds like we're leaving soon. We don't have a flashlight. <laughs> oh well, oh well. Made 20 days in. Going for the all-time tops. 
score. Also, we have this harmonica still. It's not been usable for anything yet. Hopefully it's used for something eventually. Uh, I grabbed it because I'd never seen it before. It can't be useless though. Wouldn't dare. The signal has to wait. Besides, do they even know how much flashlight batteries cost? Especially in this economy. Especially after it was wiped out. Can't sleep. Can't sleep. Ted, though, is ready to go. Enough sitting around. Ted gets to go. So, do we give him the rifle? Do we give him the harmonica? Do we give him the... I don't know. I don't know. We'll give him the rifle. Good luck, Ted. His hair's getting longer. His face is getting... scratchier. Three weeks completed. Sleepy mom and her crazy son hanging out. Ted left the surface, hopefully come back soon. Yeah, I, I do wonder if my desire to save the first aid kit was a mistake. Because he had constant, these people can't sleep, can't sleep, can't sleep. That said, Timmy slept. His only issue now is his mental competence. The people are, are coming around gradually. We got visits today from a person with a physical mutation. He managed to grow several extra fully operational hands. He shared the story of his group with us, people with other deformities, who despite the circumstances remain friendly and struggle to gather supplies. Wherever they go, people just shoo them away in fear of getting sick. He promises that if we give them supplies, his group will help us get rid of bandits next time they bother us. Mutant smash! All right, we have a, a bunch of food still, so I will give the mutant man a soup can for one of his hands, that's fine. And I look forward to mutant smash saving us later. Awesome. Day 22 is upon us. The floor's still looking rough. Whether pity or fear of bandits, we're not sure, but in the end, we agreed to his terms. We'll be calmer, knowing that someone else is looking out for us, especially someone with so many arms. <laughs> That's what it means to bury your arms. Uh, Dolores is still sleepy. She wants some water. Timmy wants water also. And then, Timmy's a bit of a crazy kid, but a few more days and he'll stay crazy for good. Hopefully, he finds an item that helps with that. Time for supplies. Uh, water tomorrow. Water tomorrow. We opened the shelter door today, seeing a letter on the ground. It was a cry for help from a group of friendly survivors nearby, or at least that's what they claim to be. They're asking us to bring supplies over to a set location, and they're giving us their word that we'll not regret our generosity. Should we do it? Uh, I'm an absolute rube. People ask for help. I give them help. This will always work out. Why is my first aid kit empty? Why is Timmy's hair grown out so much? Why is Timmy poking that bear in the eye? Why, why, why? We arrived at the location and met the people who sent the letter. Twin siblings, a brother and a sister. They're taking care of a group of survivors, mostly children, elderly, and injured people who can't scavenge for themselves. They told us they're searching the town for any and all good and decent people in hopes of maybe uniting the strength and making everybody feel safer and cared for. They thanked us and promised to stay in touch. How nice! Uh, a bit of hope in the darkness here. What happened this morning, though, almost gave us a heart attack. Upon waking up, we saw a bizarre creature resembling an ancient Egyptian mummy, mummy covered from head to toe in bandages. It sat very still and looked at us with its piercing eyes, peering through the cloth. This dirty, seemingly terrifying being turned out to be our son, who, led by his madness, apparently believed himself to be some long-dead pharaoh. <laughs> Despite his protests, we helped him out of his costume. It seems he's holding a grudge. He moved in the corner is currently trying to force a couple of very confused cockroaches to build him a pyramid. Unfortunately, the bandages happen to come from our med kit. Right now, they're useless, all torn and dirty. During his struggles, Timmy managed to break all of the pill bottles. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. That's amazing. Hey, Rock's Live, good to see you. Konnichiwa to you also, my friend. Uh, glad to have you here. Accursed Pharaoh Timmy! 
All right, people want water and food, we can do that. Timmy's a bit of a crazy kid, a few more days, days crazy for good. All right, so water day for everybody, uh, food tomorrow. Alert, there's a gang of firefighters outside, or at least they're dressed like ones. They've been banging on the door, ordering us to surrender all of our supplies. They claim they'll drive us out with fire if we don't comply. Guess the definition of, definition of firefighter has changed recently. How do we oppose them? With my lock. If only we had the rifle still. We didn't think a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems they gave this whole break in a fair shot, but ultimately they gave up and they left. Too bad that padlock's in no shape to ever be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight off the bandits and other soup-hungry barbarians. Uh, people want the food. I'm gonna say one more day on food for you both. Just one more day. Dolores has been awfully silent. Is there anything we do to help her? I'm sorry, Dolores. I can't spray rat poison on you, uh, nor can I hate you in the head of the Scout Handbook. Why can't we give her a harmonica? And at least, like, when she breathes in and out, it'll make sounds, and that'll amuse her. Amusing accidental harmonica plague. Uh, Ted, please come back. I'm feeling like we're going to get one of those Ted's been gone too long, he's never coming back. And I don't know what causes that. We'll see. Ugh! How do I avoid this? Like, I'm, I'm very curious, is this just like a random bad outcome? Or is there a mechanic I'm not understanding? I don't know. Ted's dead, man. Ted's dead. So our expeditions today have been lose one axe, get two water, lose one Ted, lose one rifle. I've spoken into existence, it's true. If I hadn't said that, I hadn't said that. Times are hard, and there's little we can do to keep everyone's morale up. Let's save our energy for later. Ted's been outside for far too long and still not returned. We fear he isn't coming back. X marks the non-Ted. All right. Dora's not eating for a while. She's tired. Timmy's hungry. All right, kids. So you have to have a living parent. If a parent is not around, the kids just die. And someone has to be inside of the uh, bunker at all times. All right. Timmy is ready to go out. I've never sent Crazy Timmy out, but I need things. So Crazy Timmy, we believe in you. Tomorrow you'll find something. Enough of this plain, tasteless water. Dolores is really craving a cup of coffee. Real, true blue American coffee. The kind you can drink five cups of and still feel sleepy. But where are we going to find that in the wasteland? Well, Dolores' favorite diner is, or used to be, a few blocks away. Maybe we should go get on Coffee Run, but who? Uh, Dolores, you look for coffee, I believe in you. Don't die. She's sitting upright. Great! We got a whole pot of cold coffee! <laughs> We've been in here for more than three weeks. <laughs> we got a whole pot of cold coffee. The taste is weird, and we don't have any sugar or milk to get flavor, but it'll do. It's a step up from the bland, slightly irradiated water we've been drinking. The pot only held a few cups of coffee, and we gulped it all down in mere minutes. All of us are very alert and ready for anything. For the next five or so minutes, anyway. All right, she wants to eat... Timmy's good to go, so no one is tired anymore. Everyone's good to go, finally. Uh, that was Dolores wants to eat. Timmy is fine. Dolores gets food tomorrow. Who goes outside? Alright. I do worry that Crazy Timmy will walk off. Crazy Timmy... I'm going to give you a soup can to go with your soup can. Double the soup, double the fun. Alright, this place is an absolute mess, Dolores. What are you going to do about it? 
No cleanliness this day. Tim out the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Be very sad. That's what I say there. Uh, just a one more day, Dolores. We're about to start a book club discussion on the only book we've all read, the phone book, when erupted by rapid knocking at the door. We found a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. They're doing much worse than us and beg for us to give them anything that we can. Food, water, medical supplies. We have more food than water. So I'll share the food. Good guy Resorty continues. Week number four. <gasps> well, hello. Hello, beautiful. I'm very glad we ch uh, shared our things. We've never seen anyone so touched by a simple gift. A minute later, those poor people were hugging us like there was no tomorrow. Quite possible, actually. And thanking us for the gesture. They were eager to repay us, and one of their group offers a map of the local area. They claimed it helped them get here, so it brought luck upon whoever used it. We promised to give it a try and wish them a safe journey. Uh, today, Dolores gets food and water. Oh dear, we just remember we plan on taking a trip south in two months. If it's still there, we're going, right? We're pretty sure they don't bomb the warm places. Does south still exist? Is there still south? We'll find out eventually. Alright. That map will entertain us for a while as our food and water gets lower and lower. Let's leave all the questions be for now. Dolores is just fine. The military is transmitted again. They said their first step is locating remaining survivors. Planes go over the neighborhood this evening. Signal with the flashlight. Yep, 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 yep. It's been one month. The signal has to wait. Besides, flashlight, blah, 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 blah. A sleazy-looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. He offers a simple one-time deal for a soup of can we get what's in the bag. So the one time we took this, it was a kitty cat. Our food is running low now. But for a kitty cat... But for a kitty cat... Timmy, a kitty cat, and a flashlight, and water, and food. Timmy, you genius. And hello, Fritz. It's good seeing you. Oh, everything's turning up resorty. Got the flashlight, the best part. If that cat knocks down the flashlight, I will do unspeakable things. As soon as the door closed on the trader, the bag started to violently shake, emitting screeching, hellish sounds. Terrified, we backed up against the walls. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to be an angry house cat. The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat on the corner to clean itself. Its corner says Shardikov. Is that a name? Fritz, clearly. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. We used to visit a local cinema so often we could travel there blindfolded. It wasn't that surprising that this is where our feet took us, almost without involving our brains in the process. The Timina, Tinema, sorry, that's where, that's Timmy's cinema, the Timina, the cinema had a strict policy of not bringing your own drinks to the movie hall. Seemed like someone broke the rules. We found a lot of bottles in the last row of the hall. Some were even full. The only thing left for the ticket booth is the door with a padlock on it. Security mu here must have been questionable. Someone forgot to take the key. Breaking your leg among the ruins is not difficult and the cinema wasn't helping. If it wasn't for one of our hawk eyes and cat-like reflexes, that flashlight abandoned in the middle of the movie theater passage could have proved lethal. This last expedition got us thinking. Maybe we could just drive away from the nightmare somehow? Of course, most of the automobiles available are completely burnt out. But if we find a solid base and scavenge enough parts, perhaps we could build a vehicle of our own. We'd better keep an eye out for those on future expeditions. Timmy is crazy and tired and needs some food. Dolores wants water and food, and she's going out tomorrow. So, food for everybody, water for everybody. Tomorrow, Dolores goes, and our event. The more we know about outside, the better for us. Let's gather around the radio. I wish I remembered my maximum number of days survived. <clears throat> I thought we were getting close to it, possibly. 
Nothing, nothing, nothing. We hear nothing but that annoying static. Better luck next time. <clears throat> Timmy wants more food. He also needs more sleeping. And Dolores is ready to go. Food tomorrow, Timmy. Food tomorrow. Good day outside. All right, we need to keep the flashlight here for um, the military plane. The map is so valuable, but I'm gonna let Dolores have it. If she destroys that map, insert words of dismay here. Also, our kitty looks so happy. Happy kitty, happy kitty face. There he is. Kitty's enjoying the soft sound of the fan. Maybe a little breeze feels nice. Smell of all those outside smells, the flowers, the rats, all the rest. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Timmy would like some food. Just one more day. Just one more day, Timmy. Gotta save that food. What in the hell are those sounds? Are they coming from the walls? They're driving us crazy. Is something crawling in the air vents? Relax. Take a deep breath. We should probably calm down before we start tearing them down. Maybe try something relaxing for a bit. The cards or chessboard for relaxation. Apparently making shadow puppets with a flashlight or enjoying the harmonica music is not acceptable. You have no way of helping with the sounds in the walls. Maybe the cat will help us. Pet the cat. Just pet the cat. So it's not weird that Timmy is now wearing a soup can on his head and pretends a helmet? This is in its innocent child's play. Or is it? Uh, boredom getting into its shelter can lead you to dark places. Trust us. Uh, boredom can get to you in the shelter, not get you to the shelter. Sorry. All right. Timmy's quite hungry. I will feed him today. He wants water. He is still crazy. The siblings kept their word and visited us again with a request. Seeing as they're running out of space in their tent, their group's attempting to build a small camp themselves. They already gathered some resources, but they need someone to help them chop wood and build houses. I would love to help them, but Dolores ruined my axe. Dolores, who's not here, I wish to yell at you. <laughs> Uh, so the twins trying to make a nice world cannot be helped right now. Maybe only Dolores could use the harmonica? Maybe so. Maybe that's the case. Also, kitty cat in new position. Who's a good kitty? It's unfortunate, but we don't have any tools and we can't just chop wood with our bare hands, no matter how determined we are. We had to refuse. Timmy wants food still, but no. While trying to pet the little devil, we found a piece of paper on its collar with an address scribbled on it. Could its previous owners still be around and worried sick? Chance are slim, but maybe we should pay him a visit, or at least whatever's left of them. Let's take the cat to its home and see what happens. That said, the cat has a Russian name. Are its owners communists? The cat's gone. Before we reached the end of our street, we were stopped by two men wearing dark coats and stylish hats. They rushed towards the cat to pick him up, saying they've been looking for him for a while now. Supposedly, Sharkov belongs to an old lady who's rather fond of it and misses the little guy dearly. We shrugged and went back to our shelter. The cat didn't seem to care, so why should we? Good thing we didn't get too attached to it the last few days. I think we made a tremendous mistake. I think we made an absolutely tremendous mistake, my friends. We need to keep the cat next time we can do so. This is not some cute old lady. These are the feds. Clearly the feds. What secrets did that cat have? Maybe we'll find out in the future. Anyway. 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 We felt like something was staring at us from the corner of the shelter. We think it's a rat. At least it looks like a rat. A rat on a very good diet. We decided we need to do something about it, or put it more bluntly, it's either him or us. If only we had a cat to eat the rat. We have nothing to do with that. Hey, Dolores is home. Hello, Dolores. Oh, she's quite sick. She brought home... Nothing? At least the map came home. 
as we're running around looking for something to smash that furry rodent with, it just disappeared. So did one of our food cans. The question is, how'd that devil fit in through one of those little holes? Food gone. We're glad to see Dolores come back safe from the wasteland. She brought back the map. The silent wasteland had at least one resident who managed quite well. It was a proud-looking monkey. We had no idea where it came from. The zoo, maybe? It seemed very friendly. After getting a few paths on the back and playing fetch, it started following us. While we explored one of the streets, our monkey companion ran away, only to come back moments later carrying a can of food. It couldn't open it himself, but it was happy to share it with us. More food! At one point during the expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and digging in front of us with a stick. A quick investigation revealed a few bottles of water. No one even tried to open them. The same couldn't be said about those bottles of booze lying next to them. But then, nice, the monkey took us outside the town to what seemed like a hidden bunker. It had some medical supplies. We window shopped nearby parking lots for a vehicle that wasn't completely burnt out. Unfortunately, we found nothing of value. Maybe future expeditions will be a little more lucky. All right. Dolores came down with the sickness. Due to dude down with the sickness. Um, so... We're going to have to use the med kit we just found to heal her. Feels not great. And we found a little more food, apparently. Possibly one can's worth. I think we had at least one and a half previously. Everybody gets water. Food tomorrow. No one can go outside right now, unfortunately. We got scared a little bit today when all of a sudden our map fell off the wall. Maybe the shelter is haunted? When the map fell down, it revealed some sort of safe behind it. We don't remember installing it, but we can probably crack it. Well, we technically have all the time in the world. Should we try? Zero, 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 one. Zero, zero. <laughs> Let's try. This is a way to pass some time. What's in the safe? We hear a radio broadcast. We have the flashlight. We have the flashlight. Cat. Um, we still, we're still not certain how the map fell down. With some ghost playing tricks on us, it's a friendly one. Inside the safe, we found some useful items, so we'll do this ghost the courtesy of not calling Exorcist. We got one soup from the safe opening. Dolores is still tired and can't seem to sleep it off. Dolores was cured from the illness. She barely had any strength left. If she doesn't eat tonight, she'll not last till morning. Timmy needs food! Alright, so food is needed. Excellent. Food for everybody. Can't go outside quite yet. How about we put that radio to good use? Something might be on the air right now. Oh, I thought that broadcast was the uh, use the flashlight. Apparently not. Apparently not. <gasps> Someone's back. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Some friendly soul on the radio was talking about a supply pack she'd lost during a trip through our town. We immediately realized she must have driven through our street. We rushed out and got the package before anybody else. To our surprise, we found Sharikov back in our shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure why or how it came back. Is it our good care to appreciate? Our kind hearts? Optimism? Or just our stockpile of soup cans? Only time will tell. The spy is back. Spy is back. They're still asking for more food, so I'll go ahead and do that. The military is transmitting again. They said the first step is to find survivors. A plane to the sweep. We have the flashlight. Look at us. Look at us. Got an achievement called Last Man Standing. Stay alive in your fall shelter for 40 days. This is now our longest ever run. Nice, 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 nice. Timmy is crazy. We've made contact with the military. Everything was going as planned, but then the flashlight stopped working. We were lucky to get it fixed just in time to hear the distant roar of the plane's engines. We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Let's see if they get back to us. Alright. They want even more food. Dolores wants water. Timmy wants water. Tomorrow they get that. Timmy, go outside. Timmy? Sure, why not? Find something fun out there. A loud crash, a surprise shriek, and a bit of debris falling from the ceiling. Truly a recipe for a good start to the day. 
It turns out, Sharkov found a new toy, a bit of innocuous wiring that it ripped out of the wall. Who knows what the cable's for, but our lights are still on, so it can't be that important, right? We take the wire away from our fluffy friend and investigate it? No. Let's let the cat have its toy. We do everything for the cat. This is no longer a human survival game, it's an amuse the cat game, I've decided. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. A carrot works better than a stick. Let the cat have its dumb wire. We're positive the cat can be of use to us, considering all of the radioactive roaches and other furry beasts lurking. We'd rather have a friend in Sharkov when the army of mutant hamsters comes for us. And they will. Oh, they will. Alright, people want water. Once again, we can do that for sure. Um... Timmy's leaving us, so I'm going to give him food as well. Timmy left side. Timmy... I don't need the harmonica, Timmy. Surely you'll enjoy using that somehow. 42. Meaning of life, etc. Just the two of us. Lovely orange-haired beasts. Timmy left side hopefully he comes back. Ever since we jumped into the fallout shelter, we've been wondering about that other door in the shelter. Should it even be here? Where does it lead? It's high time we checked it out. We used the flashlight took behind the other door. For having built this fallout shelter, we know very, very little about it, surprisingly. <laughs> hey, we found some ammunition! We inspected every corner of the room and found nothing. Well, that was a waste of time. During one of his insane episodes about 3 o'clock last night, Sherkov ran, ran face first into a wall, causing a loose brick to fall out. Behind it was a cigar box with some ammunition inside. Thanks to whoever left it in there. Alright, so found nothing, but then found some ammo. Great. Great, great, great. As we're looking through our map, we came across a few markings that were not original. Someone has added a pointer to a location near us. What would we find there? We don't know. I mean, it's worth saying someone to check it out. This is like a trap. Let's go to the trap. I don't see anything new, so... Those map directions were a cruel joke. Or just a child's playful imagination. We found nothing and only wasted an afternoon running around. One more day of no supplies. The siblings kept their word and visit us again with a request. They're still trying to build a small camp for themselves. They got those resources, but they gotta chop wood. Give us the axe. I'd love to. Uh, so I'm realizing now that there are multiple paths you can go down for survival. I think you mentioned that last week, some of you. Um, so I'm guessing you can help the kids and survive in their like happy family camp. You can make a car by exploring enough, or you can go with the military. So I wonder if part of the opening 60 seconds is deciding which of those paths you want to go down. And so knowing that if you want to go with the kids, you have to have the food, then the axe, then whatever. With the military, radio, and then flashlight, whatever. I'm not sure if that's true, though. It's unfortunate we still don't have tools for the kiddos. Uh, now Dolores needs food and water. A scientist, at least supposedly, arrived on our doorstep, yelling, Dr. Shadokov, are you in there? He was looking for his lost cat, but kept referring to his pet as his favorite assistant. His research apparently can't go on without the cooperation of Dr. Shadokov. Since the cat doesn't seem keen on moving out of our bunker anytime soon, the doc wants to compensate him by helping him with this project. In these circumstances, it might not be the worst idea to befriend other wastelanders, even the crazy ones. All right, so the mind of a scientist inside the cat, or it's just a cat and the man's insane. Dolores is absolutely fine. Surrounding, surrounding down here is no walk in the park. It won't get easier anytime soon. We're hopeful it'll blow over soon and likely back to what it used to be, or else we might face dangers we've never dreamt of. Timmy's back. We got a gas mask from somewhere and a bunch of water. 
Timmy came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. T -t -tim -t -t Timmy? Well, we'll see how that goes. Uh, friends, it's time for an ad break. Now, normally an ad break of three minutes, we'd pause the game and do some crossword. Today, though, we're trying something a little bit different. We are pausing the game. Don't you worry. No uh, game to be missed. Let's go ahead and find something else to do, though, instead of just playing a little game called Crossword. Let's play a game called Backpack Battles. Welcome, everyone, to the Backpack Battles three-minute bit of fun. This is a Ranger playthrough. <laughs> we're in the process of just getting started. We've had a... Uh, two rounds so far, maybe three rounds so far, I haven't yet decided what we're going to do for um, uh, for this build. I think we're leaning in the direction of Bigger Sword if we can get a second whetstone. This item is quite good quite early, so bigger crit chance on all of our weapons. Now let's re-roll. A second whetstone? Yeah, don't mind if I do it all. So we can now get the upgraded sword for sure. I must have a problem. No, that's definitely not true. Don't you worry. Everything's fine. Okay, so I'd like to have the crit uh, item closer to the weapons. Because here's doing absolutely nothing. But I need the two whetstones to be on the side of the sword. So we could get rid of the pig, of course. Alright, for just one... Is that true? No. I'm just going to go this way. The ring's going to do nothing, but no doubt we'll win even without the ring. ring. Not sure if that's true. Oh, this person already has the better sword. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, just keep swinging. Top speed, of course. All right. Big loss there. Sure, the ring would have saved us. Now, their upgraded uh, sword made it win for them. All right, sword upgrade. Let's move back here now. And we have a fanny pack for faster attacking. That is good, good, good. Um, I would like the f speedy items to be the sword as well as the knife, probably. So, oh, <laughs> good call, Kibbs. We, we do still have a, a 60 seconds song going. <laughs> That's absolutely right. <laughs> uh, okay. I'd like to move things around because... Ideally, the sword would touch all other weapons. Because it gives a plus two damage for that. And then I put the ring here, but it only benefits two of the weapons then. It's affecting the more important one. Banana here will help with stamina. We're not having stamina problems yet. Okay. And we have the pig upgrade to Lucky Piggy. Lucky Piggy is actually less useful right now. Unless I don't want to go the shortbow build. Let's instead go Lucky Pig build. Because it's more useful in more different builds than just the uh, the bow. Which we might not use if we don't hit um, a walrus tusk. Stuff like that. Weapon in 60 seconds? Don't worry. We're in an ad break right now. During an ad break, we play this game instead. We've always played this game instead. What are you talking about? All right, a second sword is for uh, the cross swords. For that, we need to have uh, two more whetstones, two more gloves. There's a glove I'll use either way. Um, sorry, it's four more whetstones, two more gloves. We don't need stamina yet. We will at some point. I'm not going to reserve that, though. We'll find it eventually. Armor. Uh, they threw 150 health before she beats the dickens out of us. We've gotten very lucky so far that her um, shovel has not blinded us at all so far. And she's having stamina problems, so we're probably going to win this, actually. Uh, had she blinded us, it's a 40% chance. Oh, here we go. She blinded us once now, so we have less accuracy, but we still want it. Very good. Another? Another gloves. Okay, well, this was not exactly the plan. But we can now get uh, Falcon Blade. Now, I think Falcon Blade is useful even if we don't get the, um, the cross sword. It's a very fast hacking weapon. Cool. Uh, more luck for whatever. And then Lucky Piggy gives a bonus to item trigger chance. None of our current weapons have trigger chances. 
Except, the carrot has a chance of triggering Empower. So ideally I want the Lucky Piggy to look at that. But doing that though, we no longer have the bonus to the sword. The ad break's over, don't worry. I'm just gonna figure out how this thing goes in here. And we'll do it later. For now though, there was your ad break. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's go back to our normal game now. A little game called 60 Seconds. 60, se oh, where is it? <laughs> there it is, 60 seconds. All right, so we're still afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. The expedition reached a church, which was still standing. Most was intact and some people decided to turn it into a shelter. And we found it was more than that. We weren't sure what religion they followed, but they were very eager to convince us that tomatoes are the source of all e evil and eggplants the only hope for salvation. Boo tomatoes, yay eggplants. Cultists decided they won't be needing any holy water. They did a bit of miracle work and turned empty wine bottles into quite full water bottles. The wasteland can be boring and stressful. A good way to unwind is taking a short break on the side of the road and playing a song or two on a trusty harmonica. Sometimes it attracts nearby survivors who might even sing together with you, hang out for a bit, and give you a parting gift. How lovely, a gas mask. But then, a bunch of radioactive dust got stuck inside our harmonica when we took it outside. Well, fun while it lasted. Dolores is not eaten for a while, but Dolores is rested. Oh, Timmy. We thought it was normal, childish behavior, but it seems he has completely lost his mind this time. This morning, we found him on a doorstep of our bunker, ready to leave, wearing a makeshift cape made out of toilet paper. He proclaimed himself the hero the wasteland needs, and said it was his true calling all along. He wished us luck, turned around, and left with a skip in his step. We regret not being able to help him. We don't think we're going to see him again. All right, so we need to find a way to make Timmy not insane in the future. But now, there is one. She has water. She has food. If I send her out into the wasteland, she... Uh, we can't keep control of the bunker, and other people might move in or steal things. So, I don't know. I do not exist either. Thank you for the generous resubscription. 17 months. Happy year and a half to you, friend. Thanks for being with us for sure. Dolores, not right now. There isn't a lot of space down here, and we can smell everything. One of the wall bricks got loose today and revealed a hole. We felt pretty sick. It's a smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of the stench? HPG, you're absolutely right. Uh, we can use the padlock to lock the uh, door on the way out. That's what it's for. Dolores will go out then. Uh, what's inside the hole? Maybe we'll just let the cat look after our, uh, our home here. We looked into the hole, fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated and sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. We failed, or he failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him, so we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much. Got some food. Okay. The Dolores wants to eat and drink both. I'm okay with her doing that before she leaves. She'll go out and take the ammunition with her. Uh, maybe. I don't know what ammunition is used for. Um, now we'll give her the flashlight. Because we already used the flashlight to signal the military. Let's see how that goes. Uh, Miss, it's good to see you. That's horrifying with your, your youth slang. The days are going by now. All right. All right. All right, you can see you miss. The flashlight is broken. We got a rifle. We got some food, I believe. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. She took the flashlight. We're glad to see Dolores come back safe from the wasteland. The old library in the center of our town was reduced to a huge pile of rubble. The only things distinguishable in the ruins were a few half-burnt bookshelves and the remains of the librarian's desk. 
The head librarian was a shy and quiet local girl with a weird passion for firearms. Finding a loaded rifle attached to her table wasn't a big surprise to us. Gun. Curses! Our flashlights out of service after the expedition. So, I wonder if you always lose the item you send out. I'm trying to think of all the expeditions I've done. Definitely have more than a few of them. We've lost the item we sent out, and for no real gain. But we are back. No one can go out yet. The last expedition brought news of a vehicle parked just down the street. It sure looked unique, but we never got close enough to get a good look. We're almost certain it's not a bandit trap. Perhaps we just sent one out. Let's check it out. So you will recall, last game ended when we found a tank, a military tank, and sent Ted to check it out, and it was booby-trapped and exploded. Good luck, Dolores. What's that car? Dolores lives! The harmonica did not come back near it. No, the harmonica was um, destroyed because it got some dirt inside of it, apparently. A shocking discovery. It's a rusty tank. It was a little crispy around the edges and also missing wheels and some crucial parts, but the seats are fairly comfortable. Wouldn't it be amazing to drive away and leave this radioactive hell behind us? It would be nice. It would be nice. We were afraid the army wouldn't get back to us, but they eventually did. The next transmission was full of evacuation promises, but it ended on a big if. The speaker requested that any survivor groups armed with firearms should dispose of them before they're rescued. We don't know what this is about, but it sounds like violating our rights. On the other hand, are there any laws and rights left, or is everyone for themselves? I sure would appreciate the army saving me, but I gotta give up my gun. We just got the gun. I'm gonna feel very, very dumb if I throw this away, and then the army says, all right, we'll get to you in four months, don't you worry. I'm going to be a compliant citizen. This, this was what separates us from the Soviets, that uh, when our government speaks, it speaks for our safety and our health. So I will listen to Big Brother, Uncle Sam. There we go. We'll see how this goes. The gun is gone. We decided to follow the military orders and got rid of our rifle. We did so with a heavy heart, but if that's the price of safety, we pay it gladly. Doesn't mean we'll never get another one, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird little event. It's a weird little event because it just says destroy your weapon. Like, there's no way of telling from the military side if we've done so. And you're allowed to get a new one, so... That's a weird event. I wonder what happens if you keep it. Maybe next time we'll try that. Anyway, food and water is needed today, definitely. We'll hit both those. Doors can't go out yet. We were admiring the radioactive landscape when we saw a young woman dressed in ragged camo clothing. She had a nasty-looking rifle, but she hailed us in a polite enough manner. She claims to be a hunter, tracking a big, mutated spider. She ran out of ammo and told us we were able to help her out. She'd pay us back in a while. All right, Waitlander, here's our ammunition. You go fight that beast. I want some giant spider legs in return. We agreed, most of us are kind of curious what she's planning to do with that spider once she catches it. She doesn't want to say. Maybe one day we'll find out. Dolores wants more food. The more we know what's going on outside, the better for us. We use the radio. Two months down. Kind of depressing in here. <laughs> At least we have tons of food and water, though. That's the one uh, redeeming quality. At least we have Sharikov to talk to also. Nothing, nothing, nothing on the radio. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And she's still asking for more food. Huh. The cat disappeared for a short while and came back with a note on its collar. It's signed by the scientist. He said he was being followed by a couple of weird men in hats and sunglasses, making him temporarily go into hiding. 
His note mentions the construction of some sort of transportation contraption. Few details provided, but apparently it can get us out of this hellhole. It still needs to be stocked with supplies, which is where we come in. He wants to stockpile several soups of soup, several cans of soup. The doc will come to pick them up soon. All right, so teleportation ending possibly. Crazy Russian scientist teleports us out of there. Dolores is fine for right now. Water tomorrow. The siblings return. They just want the axe. I'm so sorry. I still don't have one. The longer we survive, the more I think, oh, are we going to win? Are we going to survive? This is how they get you, right? It lets you believe you're going to win, and then it all comes crumbling down. We still wish we had an axe. We just don't have one yet. Dolores is still exhausted? We played a game of list the things you hate the most. Our neighbor's name came up repeatedly. It reminded us a little weasel was safe in his living room. Dolores, go open that safe. Last time we opened the safe, we got a gas mask. This time, we'll see what we get, if anything. Chessboard. When we opened the safe, we heard a loud bang in the room filled with thick, nasty smoke that smelled of rotten eggs. The booby trapped the safe. Sure, it slows down, but it didn't stop us from taking the most prized possessions. Take that, Ned. Too bad we won't ever get the stench off our clothes now. Dolores got sick. All right, so I think opening the safe always makes your character sick. That happened last time also, I totally forgot. So, unfortunate. We don't have medicine. Hopefully we send her out soon. Not that we have problems though. A knock on the door is not something to take lightly. A man came to our doorstep today offering us a highly profitable game of cards we weren't convinced. Is a bet of two soup cans and a card game a reasonable choice? We have no cards anyway. So he came to us Wanted a card game with no cars. Card rather. Ridiculousness. Gambling's a terrible habit. Stay away from jazz and liquor. What kind of example is that to set the kids? We need supplies. We're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We set that man away. Good riddance. Dolores needs to sleep more. But I think I've tried previously to get through illness by overfeeding. And I don't think it actually works. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know if overfeeding does anything other than just waste food. The doc came to the door to collect the supplies he requested. They're important for the project set. We can trust him. After all, he's a doctor. So, four cans of soup. We have three and a quarter. <sighs> uh, so, we don't have quite enough of any of the things we need to uh, continue the quest lines. An axe, four soup cans. But maybe the military will be here soon. This guy is too nutty, even by our standards. We'll hold on to our supplies for now. We can always change our mind later. We could really use more supplies. We counted them all today, and the numbers did not make us happy. Time to do something about it. We know a teacher down the uh, streets from local school rescued kids and led them to a safe location. We could steal our things. No, not stealing from children. No, I may have just signed my death warrant with that one. If she doesn't get into good enough condition, we can't go. We can't send her out to uh, explore. We're not robbing the innocents, especially in troubled times. Here's some food, here's some water. The cat's growling in the direction of our supplies. We're not sure if cats drink soup, but that's the only thing on the menu today. It's up to us. We want to share a tomato, tomato delicacy with our pet. Cats like soup. The radio. We hear the sounds. All right, Happy Kitty, how do you help us? The little devil utterly devoured the whole can in less than 60 seconds left nothing behind. Not even a drop. After that, it took a long, peaceful nap. At least it won't bother us for a while now. So my question is, what happens if we don't feed the cat? Probably break something. We've still done nothing about Dolores' sickness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help you. 
There was another military announcement on the radio. The soldiers are nearby and ordering a single person from each survivor group to meet them and outline the group situation. This is a bit odd. We do hope they mean well. It's still pretty much the only thing we can do, so it's probably worth sending someone over. Over. Over and out. Maybe Dolores lives. Maybe they'll bring medicine or to take care of her. It's the government. Come on, governments. We made it to the meeting. The serious-looking soldier asked us a few questions, made some notes, and told us they'd get back to us. We only hope made a good impression. Too bad our Sunday best didn't make it through the explosion. The crazy scientist is here again. Hop with some soup. So I think getting to the end game like this without being able to get any more supplies is a little unfortunate. But I know the things we need, but I don't know how to get them out of expeditions. The doc is getting our nerves. Sure, we promised to give them some supplies, but it's hard to give them up. They're worth their weight in gold or in soup cans, whatever the currency is. Nothing more during the silence. It's all waiting for our radio. No music, no talking, nothing. Is there anything we can do with the radio to make it work again? We sure know steering it won't help. Let's fix the radio. I guarantee we're gonna break it. Guarantee. 70 days. The radio's broken. Of course it is. <laughs> well, that didn't go so well when we broke the thing. Technology changes so fast these days, it's hard to keep up. Who needs a radio anyway? So with no radio, can the government not contact us anymore? Oh no. Have I just made the government ending impossible? Oh no. Oh, Dwarves can go. So I think if Dolores goes outside, she will just die of sickness before she gets home. But if we don't send her out, she'll probably not find medicine. Now there are random daily events that can give you medicine and the um, spider hunter might come back. So I think we shouldn't go out, unfortunately. For an isolated fallout shelter, we sure have a lot of disturbances. Something has been making a lot of noise since dawn and we couldn't sleep. It seems to be coming from under the floor, and coincidentally, we just found a manhole that we could use to go down and check what's going on. No, we can't, because we broke all of our items. I think on this playthrough, we've ended up with the vast majority of items at various points, but we've broken all of them. Going into a tight, dark tunnel is not a good idea, especially with weird noise coming out from them. They're giving us the creeps. We hear a knock at the door. It's the brother and sister. They want an ax. This uh, circling the drain ending is not feeling good. <laughs> it's not feeling good at all. <laughs> Uh, it's probably too late. I'm gonna send her out, though. Better to die on your feet, as the phrase has it. The nutty doc wants his food! I'm told the weirdo to leave us in our soup alone. We can't hand out our supplies to random wacky wastelanders, even if they claim to be scientists. The whole farce is over. So I think we've just managed to end the uh, teleporter exit also, if there's such a thing. All right. We're gonna send her out with the gas mask. Please find some medicine. I believe we this is game over right here. Womp, womp, womp. Dolores is on her way back to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. It was supposed to be an easy supply run. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. Dolores never returned. The locked shelter will forever hold its secrets, at least until somebody with a hacksaw and lots of patience comes along. The she ultimately died of illness. Uh, we made it to day 70-something, though. That's pretty cool. The end. We found a tank, at least. That's pretty cool. Uh, we did lots of cool stuff here. But uh, yeah, did not accomplish any of the endings. I wonder, I wonder how close we were to any of the endings. 
It felt like we were, you know, definitely closer than ever before on all of them. But, yeah, not sure, not sure. Oh, a little heartbreaking that. A little heartbreaking that. I guess we'll give it one more shot, yeah? One more shot, maybe? All right, how do I close this thing? The, the end. The, the, the end. The end. 72 days. 79 days, ultimately. If we skip the boy cow, will we ever regret it? That's a good question. Very good question. You perished. Uh, we'll have to decide what's take this time. So, Cecil Expedition's four of seven. I don't like those chances. <laughs> I don't like those chances at all. <laughs> uh, days arrive 79, eight water, seven points and five uh, soup, and we defend our shelter by locking it up once. Ah, uh, that was this adventure. Is it time for one more adventure? It's 10.30 a.m. Could just play backpack battles. No, we'll do at least one more adventure. Look, the tank! So I think because we discovered the tank, it now gets to be here on the uh, opening screen. I think the opening screen changes based on what you've seen in the game. Maybe. Might be true. All right. One more time. Play as Dolores this time. I'm staying on normal difficulty. We must take the briefcase. So, briefcase? Um, usually I say radio, radio, radio. But I might say briefcase axe. Radio map. I have no idea. We're just gonna grab some stuff. It'll be fun. Gotta grab it all. No Timmy this time. Timmy disallowed. Yes, Dolores. Hello, Dolores. No Timmies. Food, 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 food. Med kit. Water. Water, please. Bug spray. Sure, why not? Ten seconds down. Wrong way. I see the axe on the ground there in the hallway. No, put things inside. Whew. Hey, AJ, thanks for the bits. I appreciate that very much. Glad you enjoy hanging out. Boy Scout book. Glorious. We're halfway in. We have no one else yet. I've yet to see our husband. What's that galoot up to? This is not feeling like a good start. <laughs> this does not feel good. Where is the man? Where is the man? All right, come along, daughter. At least I can trust you. I believe that Ted's gonna be all the way down here. There he is. Can't get the briefcase. Water. Run! Ah, uh, I have no idea what we actually grabbed. I know we did not get Timmy. We did not get the rifle. We did get the axe, I think. Oh, pure panic. Pure panic. Didn't get the radio, that's true. That's absolutely true. All right. The harmonica's here. I did not get that. I did get the bug spray as well as the uh, chessboard. All right, the family's back together again. We got to the shelter just in time. Good thing Mary Jane didn't bring her tuba. The fan noise here is bad enough. Wait a second, where's Timmy? We can't remember bringing the supplies down to the shelter. We're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. We got the harmonica. The shelter full. There's enough water for everybody. Didn't get enough water. So, we decided to have some role-playing theater group called Thunderdome. We spent the rest of the day trying to write a script for our performance. We almost got into a fight over it and decided it'd be best to play something simpler. No more Thunderdome allowed. I think we have a new page in our diary. Is that true? Yeah. So this tank image has never been here previously. I guess it's like a permanent change to the game. I'm actually not sure why it's there. 
We played Truth or Dare. It turned out we only kept asking questions. The most common was, will we eat anything other than tomato soup? We decided it's enough games for now. Uh, no food for now. Still highly radioactive. We wish to leave. There's nothing for us to do on here. We're all getting a little bit crazy. So on day six, we'll prepare to go out, I believe. Assuming that the radiation works the same way each time through. But on day six, last time, we got a radio message from the government saying we could leave. Hope the time to leave is soon. Everybody wants water. They'll get water tomorrow. We woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It's like something was watching us. We could have sworn we noticed movement in the shadows. If anything besides us alive in the bunker, it's time to teach it who's the boss. If this axe breaks, so help me. <laughs> so help me. <laughs> I need that axe for the children. It's still there, thank goodness. Whatever it is, it's dead now. Quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding in a nasty little hole. Uh, today, everybody get some water. Day four. What? I've actually never had the book for this. So we miss Uncle Terry. His stories. We have no photo of Uncle Terry. Just memories. We look in the Boy Scout book and what do we find? Hey, I think we found a picture of Terry on the wall there. Haven't seen that previously. We knew it! We found the photo between the pages of our scout handbook. Those handbooks are really handy, that's for sure. Nothing other than a nice little look there. Nice to have a, uh, an image. We find another door in the shelter. What's in behind the door? We can't check and see, unfortunately. So the door will remain shut, keeping its secrets for now. It's kind of silly we can't even see the entirety of the photo. <laughs> that we, that Dolores blocks it. I wonder what would happen when Dolores dies. Not that I want that. Not that I'm asking for that. I'm just curious. Uh, something's better left untouched unknown. The door will stay closed. We stacked furniture against it to make sure nobody comes through it. Uh, day six. Ted is going to leave. A group of doctors knocking on the door today requesting supplies would help when we're filling first aid kits. We're not sure they're really doctors. So last time we gave them water and got nothing for it. Uh, this time I actually don't have that much water, so I'm going to refuse giving them water. I'm sorry, Dr. Doctor, if that's your real name. I didn't hear Geigery sounds overnight, so I think the radiation is partially settled at least. What is this scam? They're not even real doctors. No way we're giving these crooks anything. Uh, so people are hungry. Um, I'm say Ted does not need to eat yet. I'm gonna give Ted water and nobody else because he's leaving. Didn't get the briefcase. I'm not gonna let him have the ax. So I know that the ax will get broken. I'm gonna try the harmonica again and see if it's guaranteed that they take the harmonica outside if it breaks immediately. No more dad. Ted left the surface. Hopefully he'll be back soon. Uh, Mary Jane and Dolores both want water. Unfortunately, we are very low on that. Deepest hope is that he finds some. Should we talk to Mary Jane? Of course. Little daughter, how's it going? What's wrong with you, sweetheart? The outdoor phone rings. Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the latter, but talking seems to do the trick. Our mood is better. They both like food. Not today. And the phone is ringing. We send Dolores to go say hi. I think this is a determined event that always says there are other survivors out there. I think it's never dangerous. We answer the phone. We learn about Hill Valley. Conversation cut short. The standard. Food for everyone. It's easy to escalate silly arguments and close quarters doesn't help. We're chatting and then suddenly fighting and fighting. Let's hope we get over it soon. My, uh, my tea is empty. I am considering getting some more tea in a moment here. Enough arguing. More important things to worry about. Dolores wants more food. It's claiming she's going to die if she doesn't eat. 
I don't think that's true, but okay, more food. We didn't think we had a chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game, but once again, someone comes by wanting to gamble for more food. No. No, no, we have no cards still. Gambling is terrible. Can't do gambling. Uh, they now both want water. We can do that also. Dolores wants more food. I'm not sure she actually needs it. But we have lots of food. The trash can is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving food. If for some reason we want to tidy this mess up, those giant green cockroaches are a good motivator. I have no idea what happened when we tried to use the Boy Scout book to tidy up the mess. I wonder if we hit the cockroaches with it. Let's try that. Splat. The book's still there. That was close. A nest of glowing bugs might have been more than the drug out of the wasteland. Roaches are the worst, but radioactive roaches? Yikes. Double worse. So yeah, the Boy Scout book is used to smush them. We're either going crazy or the entire shelter is crawling with little insects, or worse. It's worse. They're spiders. And not miniature ones, but huge, furry, and creepy. We use the book again to beat the dickens out of the spider. Maybe the book has been the uh, greatest item I've ever brought. A good book is a solution to any problem you encounter. This includes marauding spiders. No spider bro this time. A few precise hits and suddenly every spider is aware of what the word decimation means. We found a misplaced soup can while hunting the pesky spiders. That was a bountiful hunt. All right, this is the government can save you if only you have a radio. We do not. Ted returns. Sickly Ted does return. If there's one thing we need to do, it's to use a radio on a regular basis to catch emergency broadcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ted returns. Theater means actors. Where you find actors, you can easily run into mimes. And so they approach the theater on our tiptoes. But in the end, we decided our need for supplies was greater than our fear of mimes, so we bravely went to explore. It must have been one boring play if the only props we used were bottles. The scene was practically filled with them. Thankfully, some had water in them. Uh, water was our big worry. We're good on that now. We thought the dark alley with supplies neatly stacked at the end looks promising, but to our complete surprise, it was an ambush. A bandit came out of nowhere, trying to intimidate us with a rifle and some kind of bad breath, both aimed in our direction. We panicked, tossed something at him, and made a run for it. The harmonica we threw hit him right in the forehead, knocked him unconscious. We got a flashlight. A bunch of radioactive dust got stuck on our harmonica. It was fun while it lasted. So it does seem when the harmonica goes out, it gets destroyed, always. But it was useful, though, as a defensive tool. And Ted comes back sickly. I do wonder if that's radiation poisoning. For setting him out early, or what exactly? Celebration, food and water for all. Next up, Dolores and we go for a visit. Uh, yesterday during charades, we learned that Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell anti-disestablishmentarianism. It's left Dolores sorely disappointed. She insists on home, or rather shelter schooling, Mary Jane a little. Remember when I was a kid and learned that word? I showed up my nerdy cred by spelling it quickly. What a nerd. Let's do some schooling, sure. We have the books to use for that. Dolores does not mess around. What started as a spelling exercise has quickly found its way to a math revision, followed by a short physics course on ending on tinkering with random objects in our shelter. Mary Jane looks exhausted, but we can't deny the state of our shelter has improved today. So I wonder what the, exactly that means. I mean, in what way is the place better than before? Hmm. Okay, so Dolores didn't go out when give feed just Dolores her trip. This time we give her... I want to save the axe for the children, clearly, so... We'll give her the Boy Scout book. Maybe she can go find some herbs to eat.
Poor Ted. Poor Ted. Dolores is on her way out. Ted's hungry. Mary Jane's quite hungry. Maybe food tomorrow, folks. We can last a long time without food. Lewis thought that life would be much better. That was before we got Newt. Now we think life could be much better. In a way, not that much has changed. Oh, poor world. Oh, poor world out there. Oh, Dolores is gone. We can look at her full picture now. I'd like to do that. Yeah, it's just a, a fellow sitting in a chair there. Good old Uncle Terry. Fond memories are one thing. We need to be ready for harsh reality that awaits us. All right, so food for both. A little water for Ted, too. It's high time we stopped wondering what's going on out there and started asking questions, listen, listening to answers. How about a radio? Wouldn't it be nice to have a radio? Don't you want a radio? They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without knowing what's going on is not going to kill us. Uh, Ted needs to sleep. Food desired by two, but not yet. Mary Jane can't sleep. She really needs water. Do you actually? I don't know if you actually need more water, but I'll give it to you. A stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow filled with all kinds of goods stopped by today. He claimed he was a trader looking to barter for items he requires. Think of us water for cards, water for bug spray, two water for the book, or one water for a flashlight. Surely not. Other direction, maybe. But I'm keeping my precious items all the way. I'm already three weeks done. We refused the trade. Hope we made the right choice. The trader was none too happy. The note we found on the door was a real surprise to us all. This is the introduction of the uh, twins, brother and sisters. Send one person out at midnight to learn more. Ted, you go and meet those people. I could have given them the bug spray. See, I don't know what these things are used for. I don't know if there are any useless items at all. They all matter to me because suddenly people want weird things. The meeting was two siblings, a brother and sister, took it on themselves to say they're finding trustworthy and decent people. We need to give them the axe. We're going to give them the axe. The axe will be given to them. As long as they have food and water, we can stay in. But how about that radio? No. No radios. Uh, Ted appears to have spilled some on himself now. A little bit of tomato soup, his poor tie is coming apart. One thing we need to do is get a radio. Uh, they both desire water. They're okay on food now. A sleazy looking trader with a scruffy bag paid us a visit. Do we want the cat? So, I don't remember the cat doing hardly anything except for eating our tomato soup and then going and joining the spies and then getting us to an end game event that wanted four food. How much food do I have right now? Yeah, almost none. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't take this cat with no food. Very sad to have no cat. Our grandparents always told us not to buy anything sight unseen. We're not going to start now. Gone are the yard sales. We can manage without junk from mysterious bags. Today we're visited by a strange looking man who introduced himself as a trader. He insisted his prices are so low it's practically like cutting his own throat. The least we could do is take a look at the offer, although for some reason we don't trust him. So, trade in a bug spray for a harmonica. Trade in a radio for a map. Clever, thanks. I've not found a value of harmonicas yet, so I'm continuing to keep my bug spray. Hey, mom is back! Hi, mom! Despite his desperate attempts to sell us all kinds of things, useless or not, we turned down the man's offer. Probably for the better, he did look quite untrustworthy. We're glad to see Dolores come back safe from the wasteland. She brings back our book. 
The first thing to fall in the time of crisis is order. Yet here we were, walking next to the police station. It turned out to be an operational and staffed. We met a few policemen inside. They seemed capable of doing their job. Though it's pretty odd the way they were talking about a new world order. The policemen were quite nervous while we were around. After a short chat, they gave us some food, then told us to go away and never mention what we saw to anyone ever again. They had plenty of water in their stash, they were acting very nervously and immediately consented to sharing when asked. Then they all started exercising. One food, one more water. An animation pack was lying just on the station. Got some ammo also. Welcome home, Dolores. Hey, Red Rover, what's this game? It looks like an old Flash game. Yeah, this game is called uh, 60 Seconds. It's a game in which you have 60 seconds to grab a bunch of supplies from your house, and then you get to play a strategic randomness game uh, down below to try to survive. It's an interesting game for sure. Uh, everyone's wanting food, and so we'll share food with everybody. We'll have water for everybody also. We're feeling good. Uh, currently, everyone's tired and so cannot go outside. Maybe tomorrow someone will be in better shape. A group of people dressed in green pajamas knocked on our hatch is not something we anticipated. It's exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted they are the merry men, and we should take from the rich and give to the poor. We're pretty poor, so maybe we can make some friends? I'm gonna say I'm poor this time. They better not take my axe. Hello, merry men. What you got? Those merry men were not merry at all. They told us that we were rich, and we should share with the other 90% of the wasteland. They grabbed a few things and left. We couldn't do anything to stop them. Their green clothes! Too hypnotizing! So at least once, we've gotten a you are poor outcome, and they give us food, I believe. But no, apparently if you have too many items, they take your padlock and your flashlight. Oof. Oof. Oof, 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 merry men. Uh, we're gonna send uh, Mary Jane out in the wasteland this time. So we'll get her good and fed up ahead of so, ahead of time rather. Dolores has not been talkative. Should we have a chat with her? Of course. What's going on, sweetie? Tell us what's going on, beautiful Dolores. That's a good point, Dracor. They might be communists, these merry men, in their attempt to share things with other people. Talking to Dolores resolves some of her issues and doubts. She now feels better. She wants food. She's tired. Ted wants food. Mary Jane wants food. But no. Mary Jane, go outside. I'll take with you. I don't know. The bug spray. You get the bug spray. No idea what it's used for. We'll find out. This game feels like this war of mine. Uh, it's a much sillier version of the same thing. Because while it's the case that people do die, it's a apocalyptic situation. It's played for jokes, like a, a 1960s, um, what would the phrase be? Like a spoof, I guess? Mockumentary, that kind of thing. Uh, Dolores wants food. Dolores wants water. Ted wants food. Ted wants water. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Again, we've met the Wastelander who's going to hunt big mutated spiders. Last game, I gave her ammo and she never came back. This time, I will give her ammo and she will come back with spider steaks. No doubt about it. We agreed. Most of them are curious what she's going to do with that spider. Uh, today, people get food and water. Or we can listen to the radio. Uh, no radio, no radio. If there's one thing we need to do, it's use the radio. How about the radio? Would you like a radio? How about some radios? Uh, claustrophobia is difficult to fight against, especially in a little clustered, cluttered bunker. How about we open the door for a little bit? Let some air in. Sure. We open the door all the time. Nothing bad will happen opening it, right? One month down. Hey, Ted got sick. So as I was thinking of opening the door, I vaguely remembered last time we did that, didn't someone get sick? 
and they must have. <laughs> so, uh, unless Mary Jane comes back with medicine, Ted is surely gonna die. Open the door, letting contaminate Aaron was not a good idea. Now, instead of phobias, we have vomiting. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The siblings are back, just like they promised they want our help. The group is too big, they want to build a small camp. They could use some help, some hands, and an axe. We give them the axe, finally. <laughs> Helping those children. We got a few splinters, but the work is done. We even had some fun. It's almost like building that tree house in our backyard all over again. The group and their leaders appreciated our help and said they would definitely let us know when the whole thing is finished so we can come and visit. Head keeps coughing and coughing and coughing. There's a lot of space down here. We can smell everything. Uh, brick in the wall fell down. What's in that hole? Let's look in that hole. We'll find some medicine in there. It'd be really great if so. No medicine. Look in the hole. Figures being boring is in there. It was a dead rat with a tomato soup can. We gave the rat a burial and Ariel and took the food. Dolores has been really angry at the door incident from a few days ago. She doesn't want to let it go. She seems very hostile. We need to have an intervention or bound to end up fighting. Should we try to talk it over? The alternative is battlefield. Love is a battlefield. Better get your armor. Now, we can talk through anything, honey. Just come here and let me sniffle on you some. Ted's looking real bad. That's looking real bad. Dolores had to release some steam, that's all. We're a bit tired, but hope to be cured with a good night's sleep. Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. We fear something bad has happened to her. Alright, so Mary Jane is dead. Ted's gonna die of um, infection soon. It all becomes let's take care of Dolores. Dolores is the champion, unfortunately. Okay. Here's a trade. They'll give us one water for our chessboard. We have nothing else. If I could buy medicine, I definitely would, but what I do if Timmy shows up, I don't let him come in. Head, fatigue, sick, starvation, tired. Dolores, fatigue, tired, thirsty, hungry. Uh, do we just, like, not feed Ted? He is starving. I think we're gonna let him starve. <laughs> Which feels horrible, but he's already a dead man. There it goes again. Noises, weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes, walls, behind the door? We don't know. Driving is crazy. Let's relax with a nice game of checkers. I'm glad that this uh, sickness does not seem to be contagious. Having fun made us forget about, ah, eh, what was it again? Alright, so Dolores wants water, Dolores wants food, she's tired still. Give her the food now. Hopefully she's some sleep soon. How about we use a radio? Wouldn't it be nice to use a radio? Gosh, I sure would like to use a radio. <laughs> okay. We now have some nice bones. We can use them to, uh, you know, mash them up and use it for farming, I think. I think bone gr uh, grit is good for that, maybe. Poor, poor Tad. P poor Tad. There's the one thing we need. It's a radio. Uh, Dolores needs water. Dolores needs food. Dolores needs rest. Uh, that's how this goes. We're her monsters. It's true. That's how it goes. It's, it's understandable, though. Sometimes you got to be a little bit of a monster to... Uh, keep the family alive we're not alone there's a huge hairy bunny beast that's hiding in a pipe it's been poking its head out eyeing our measly food stash we can't let it get to it we can't let it be in your way sleep uh, we use the axe to deal with the bunny monster 
Also, it's kind of striking that the um, parents dying leave bones behind, but the children don't, I'm fairly sure. Actually, I've never had the kids die inside the shelter, but I'm kind of guessing. Kind of guessing that they don't leave skeletons. I'm not sure on that, though. Arcander saved. Too bad for the hairy mutants. Guess we're still top of the food chain. Good for us. Okay. I need to send Dolores out, unfortunately. And we have no padlock, so... We'll see, we'll see. Also, hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's day or night. Our sleeping patterns are too messed up. The light bulb's not helping. You put out the lights? Of course not. Instead, we'll guard the shelter. <laughs> Just sit him up straight. Put some new clothes on him. He'll be good. So, because she wasn't able to sleep last night, Dolores is now exhausted. Does that mean she's not allowed to go on the um, adventure? No, she can't. So overnight she went from being awake to asleep, or from from, from uh, fully uh, slept to needing sleep. Very unfortunate that. So we're just kind of stuck here with Ted's corpse. Corpse de Ted. Dolores needs to sleep. She would like like a drink, like some food. Not yet. Can't go out. I have to go to sleep when we heard scratching from the door. At first, it sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the damn thing. We soon discover it's much worse. Someone on the other side of the door trying to pry it open. We must act. The axe. The only two I have. Who is trying to pry it open? Axe is destroyed. Some axe action was enough to send those cowards running. Vermin like that are never gone too long. They crawl the shadows when the night comes. Let's keep our axe sharp. Our axe is destroyed. Good. <laughs> Good. 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 A friendly group came today to say the camp is almost complete, but they need a few more items to make the place really worth living. It's mostly the children. There's a bunch of them in the camp, and their only entertainment so far is playing tag in the sad ruins of their house. The group is collecting toys to keep the children happy and stop them from running off to the wasteland. Here, take our checkers board. I have such hope for helping the children. The children letting dear old Dolores in. Even playing with an incomplete set of checkers is a better choice for the kids than playing hide and seek in the radioactive wasteland. Or maybe the other way around? The group was grateful and we're sure their children will be too. We hope to see our friends again soon and find out more about their new camp life. Alright, so Dolores needs food and water. Can't go outside. As long as we have food and water, we can stay in. But how about that radio? Would you like a ra would a radio be? How about radio? I <laughs> uh, made it a month and a half already. There's one thing we need. It's a radio. A trader wants to give us a one-time deal for whatever is inside of his bag. That bag is a cat. I do not want the cat. I have no food or water. Uh, Dolores is still tired. She wants to eat. We have a little water and a little food. Gotta keep it how it is. We are considering alternatives to a canned soup diet. A sudden knock on the door broke our line of thought. It turned out we visited by a band of survivors in pretty bad shape. All they wanted was a drink, a bite to eat, or some bandages. So we have 1.3 or 1.75 uh, food, I believe. I'm sorry, I need to say no this time. Hopefully the uh, survivors don't become bandits and take our things. We could tell our guests were not thrilled with our refusal. Their tired eyes alone were enough to understand how much they needed the supplies. They did not beg, but simply turned around and left in an unknown direction. Maybe they'll have more luck elsewhere. Maybe. 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 Dolores could go out. Dolores, I need you to find amazing things. Before the world turned into an unforgiving dead wasteland, we were friends with almost everyone in our town, including old man Jim, who would shamble through our street often and always say hello. 
We wanted him to visit him once. He used the address that took us to a park. Old man Jim, such a joker. It appears he survived the blast, and he's at our door right now, asking we want to buy a rock. Sure, I'd love a rock. Thank you. Friends, it's time for our once an hour ad break. So we're going to take a quick little break right now. Three minutes of not playing this game, instead doing a little game called the Crossword Puzzle. I'll give us just a second to pull it up. All right, three minutes of Crossword Puzzle. Here we go. Um, so we've eight money right now. I wouldn't mind having additional daggers. Let me save that for right now and re-roll. Um, super cheap bow. I still haven't quite decided what kind of setup I'm trying to do on this build, other than possibly find more swords, more whetstones. A second bow will probably not be remiss, but we're still under stamina usage. With this, we're slightly over, but we should be okay. Ideally, I want to have the piggy looking at the carrot. That causes the carrot to more often give us empower if we have luck. Good. All right. Round number six. This person has upgraded so many upgraded uh, bows and a healing item. I believe we lose. I, I believe we lose this because of their heals. And we have now stamina out also. Yeah, we'd lose this. It was close, though. It was close, though. All right. We have the Falcon Blade. Uh, attacks twice. Items it's touching trigger 30% faster. The piggy's not looking at the carrot? Sure it is. The piggy looks forward and up. So the piggy is looking at the carrot, as intended. Uh, that said, this only fires when they have five luck. And right now we have two, three only. We have no luck generator, but we've even faster attacking now. So that is good. Um, we can move this back one step. It's still inside of the crit bag and attach that way. Now, if it's attacking even faster, I'm not sure we actually have the... Um, yeah, I'm not sure we actually have the uh, stamina for it. But faster attacking knife, I like it. Hello, Goobert, not today. Hello, faster thing. Uh, this is how we end up having absolutely no stamina. <laughs> I just keep putting more, more and more speed on my speedy weapon. But that's okay. All right, all right. There, speedy sword, let's go, let's go. Speedy dagger, let's go, let's go. Yeah, definitely need some stamina. A banana would not be a problem. Okay. Um, this is an interesting moment. Because in this moment, we can decide, do are we trying to go for luck or are we trying to go for um, spikes? I'm going to say luck. I'm going to say definitely, definitely luck. Okay. Um, ideally, we want the bigger bow, I think. We haven't seen the bigger bow yet, though. Yeah. Yeah, it goes. We'll see if the stamina stays around. Oh, I should put the um, banana inside of the, the speed bag. So we're definitely stamina out here. Yeah, it's, it's not even close. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, we have a very fast sword. If it has the stamina to attack a lot, things work well. With no stamina, perhaps less well. Perhaps less well indeed. This may be our first ever... Uh, big loss. Only three wins is not enough wins to, to gain more LP, but... Shame. Uh, we now have a lucky bow. So on hit, chance to gain one more luck. So we want to be looking at that now. And so Piggy Piggy here, bonus to luck gain, also bonus to empower possibly now grow keeper is my favorite of the items because get more and more luck hunter is nice also because increased crit chance the aim of the more and more luck is crit and it can outscale this thing but being a permanent bonus to crit instead so i'm gonna go grove keeper and try to get our luck going think. 
Okay, banana needs to go here. The ad break is over now, so I need to, you know, play the game I'm actually in the directory for. <laughs> as ridiculous as that is to say. Um, I'd like... Aw. Okay, we're admitting this bow is not going to fit into here, just some damage occasionally. That's all right-ish. Mm, not perfect, I'll take it. All right, one last round and then we can uh, get back to the game. Fine. All right, 15 money. Ad break is over. Just one more round. One more round. Stamina will help us long term. Additional whetstones to maybe get the crossblade, I'd like. For now, it just goes on to. Sure. Four money left. No whetstone. Can get this to help stamina come in faster. All right, last round, and then back to our other game. Does the ring help the carrot? It does not. It only helps weapons. But this way, I can touch three items at least. It's not quite sure. Look at all that! Look at all that banana! Uh, when they battle rage in a moment, she was supposed to get a bunch of armor, and we're just gonna die. Cool. <laughs> so, I want to claim, this might be false, but I want to claim that going into and out of this game is not being good for me. I'm having a very hard time uh, remembering what I'm trying to do moment to moment. Surely it's not that I'm bad at the game, just that I can't remember what I'm doing. Whichever way, welcome to day 45. We opened the door and greeted an old man with a smile. He was eager to show us his bag full of the rich choice of rocks. He gave us to take one for free, for old time's sake. We agreed, carefully chose the best looking rock and the man left. We can't complain, it's a good rock, really. Claims it brings luck, we'll see about that. Okay, so I believe Dolores is heading out. She doesn't need food or water right now. Good. Um, we have soup and the Boy Scout book and that's all. The book it is. We do have a very, very good chance of a good item this time. Also, the bunker's open. Okay. No one took over the bunker. We got some nice items. Dolores on her way to her surface. Let's hope she comes back. She came back. Our house is in ruins. We still haven't paid the mortgage. No, worry to, no need to worry about that th now, though. The least we could do is pick the rivers left and see if there's any useful item. Maybe one of Timmy's comic books survived. The only recognizable furniture in the kids' room were burned desks and Mary Jane's bed. There's a hidden stash from the bed. It was full of soup cans. Our kitchen is a pile of rubble. It took us weeks to find those lovely chairs that match the floor tiles. Now they're nowhere to be found. Only a few bottles of water remain scattered in the dirt, plus two water. The car blew up. It's now a roasted piece of metal junk. In some fantastically incomprehensible way, the spare rifle and trunk survived all of that and it still works. The muddy swamp, which used to be our toilet, is now home to something that remotely resembled a mutated turtle. After exchanging a few pleasantries, <laughs> oh, to oh toilet turtle, please bless us. After exchanging a few pleasantries, it gave us anti-bug spray and wished us all the best of luck. Welp, we're now losing our mind. We spotted a vehicle just down the street. We couldn't get a good enough look at it. Maybe a future expedition will prove more fruitful. Fruitful, rather. Uh, lots of food, some water. Good. It's tough being here. Hopefully it's over soon. I look forward to meeting the children again and seeing what else we need to give them. Also, Ted, thank you for taking care of the uh, base here. We're trying to remain calm. On our way back from the expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half-ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of the town in one place marked with an X. It may have someone's secret stash of stoop. <laughs> secret stash of soup, there we go. A first secret stash of stew, much better to say. Should we go and check? Sure. What's on the spot? We're not feeding Dolores, because you don't need to eat too often. You need to eat every like six days, I think. That was rationing all the way. 
Lucky find! We were afraid the map was a trap, leading us straight to a camp, a camp full of bandits, but it turned out to be true. At the end of the path, we found some supplies that might be helpful to us. We got a map. All right, so Dolores does need to eat now. And she might need a drink, but give her one more day of no drinking. If there's anyone who can rescue us, you know how they would talk to you? You know what kind of thing the rescuers might do? They might say, hello, friend. Have you purchased a radio? Wouldn't you enjoy having a radio? Right now, get yourself the finest deal there is. How do you spell deal? R-A-D-I-O. <laughs> I wish I had a way to tell the game, look, we're never going to have a radio. <laughs> we just cannot find a radio. <laughs> if there's one thing we need to do, it's get a radio. All right, all right, all right. So, she gets water today. Fine. What's that sound? A galloping horse? Yes! We found King Arthur and his squire once more. They have a horse they're riding. They want a map. We have a map to show them. Lucky goodness that. Alright, what did we get in exchange? They seemed friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us supplies in exchange. We graciously accepted and wished them luck on their quest. They gave us a padlock. Uh, Dolores is still tired. She does not need to eat or drink quite yet. Welcome to the sound of banging our door. Someone has been at it like there's no tomorrow. In a manner of speaking, that might be true. Should we open the door? Maybe it's someone friendly. Is it Timmy? Is it Timmy? It's the twins. It's the twins. So two things. We got an achievement that uh, said yes, man. Always say yes to everything, apparently. Look at, all the, look at all the food. Look at all the food. For so long, we thought the world was really turned into a cruel, unforgiving, and hopeless place. But today, our views on it were challenged when the siblings and a few other people from their group visited us with an invitation to come live with them in a freshly built, fully functional camp. This is our chance to have a normal life again, being between friendly and good people, taking care of each other, during the good and the bad and united together against the evils of the wasteland. This is an emotional moment for us and a time to leave our dark but cozy shelter on a way to a brighter future. Farewell our humble little home. We're starting a new life today. We survived for 55 days. Nice. Nice. So to make the, the kids like you, you have to give them, you have to go to where they ask you to go. You have to give them the ax. You have to give them one toy for the kids. We discovered one ending for the game. Hooray! 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 A new beginning. You survived. Just Dolores, unfortunately. The big one if we had all four characters stand there together. No decisions, zero. Yes, decisions, nine. We've done a good job, friends. Uh, does that change the opening screen at all? Water. Water. Hmm. I think it's the same as before, but... There you have it. There you have it. A win is a win. We'll take it. I think at this point, I'm going to say it's enough for 60 seconds. Um, I think, I think, I think that's enough for me for today. Uh, the mail in the mailbox is uh, the memories. So you can see what happened over the entire uh, playthroughs. Win ratio, 20%. That's how it goes. Anyway, folks, thanks for hanging out today. Hope you had a good time. It's the weekend now, so I'm going to hang out with Noms. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to go to take my day off tomorrow. Am I leaving to play Backpack Battles? I swear I'm not. If I were just playing Backpack Battles, I would definitely uh, just do it on stream. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'll be finishing off the, uh, the playthrough off stream. We're just going to lose, though, unfortunately. I promise, I promise, no more, no more Backpack Battles today. Maybe. Can we finish the one game? Okay, it's obviously a loss. Like, I guarantee this is just a loss, but... 
we'll do the loss on stream for our collective enjoyment. Uh, all right, 14 money remaining. What would help us most? We were not having stamina problems. We're having not dying problem. Uh, how many days in the end that time? It's 51 or so, 52. Um, so ideally, armor would be really great. We now have space for the armor. We also have some luck. Luck, luck. Maybe here we'll see. All right. Uh, carrots. Carrots actually will help us this time. We'll have two, four, and then on a hit, possibly gain up to five. So possibly in power, which means we're doing even more damage, hopefully. Cat. We could get more crits. It's cheap. Uh, this is me saying rightly, gosh, I should be trying to... Uh, I was trying to get more armor, then it's getting more damage instead. No armor. All right, we can throw in one more knife. Have more luck. All right, we need to win by doing pure damage here. Here it goes, here it goes. That's unfortunate. All right, this person has only two weapons. We are putting out more damage than them. But they're getting spikes up every time we attack, so we're gonna kill ourselves on the spikes, unfortunately. Unless, unless, <gasps> <laughs> somehow a win. All right, so that's that's kind of nice. Yeah, the spikes got up to six from taking damage every time we attacked. Poof, poof, always lucky. Uh, this is armor, not the kind I exactly want. Also, I need to get more bags. So I'm going to hold off on the armor for now. Should we just change directories? All right, I feel silly sitting in 60 seconds with this, so one moment. Directory is backpack battles. This is the part where I actually don't leave. I said I'm going to leave, then here I'm going to stay here and play this game. Oh, I have a little bit of a headache. Let's see here. Uh, inept, uh, uh, inept combinations with a smile. All right, good. Good. Okay. Let me then put on this game's music, which is not the plan at all for today, but here's the music. Let's exit out of that. Here we go. Is there any reason not to upgrade the bow of the clovers? So it's right now just a space question. Uh, it's a question of where do I put things to make that happen? Uh, I am thinking that though as I'm see what we have um like this would definitely do it right? this is the kind of build i was thinking about making now speedier banana would be preferable so i'm probably gonna move things around like so welcome friends to a backpack battle stream here's your host backpack battle guy resorty what was i thinking of doing because this and then this maybe. Okay, it's a double fast banana. Seems very cool for right now. That means the bow though is not touching the blade. It could touch the blade like so, but then the banana can't go in. I think I'm okay with that. A little loss of damage, that's all right. All right, carrot goes there. We can bow up, oh, the big bow. Mmm, the big bow. Mmm, the big bow, the big bow, the big bow. So ideally, if we can get cross blades, which is seeming unlikely, uh, we'd want to have the upgraded cross blades pointing to the bow and arrow here. And it just gets so much damage. I think they point at each other to build up as much damage as possible. Okay, I'm thinking I'm not going to take... Can I fit you in here? So ideally, as right now, we want this bow pointed at that sword. Here we go, here we go. Okay. So is it possible to find one more bag? More lucky piggies. Definitely desirable. Okay, how do we think about this? So, we 
definitely want the bow here pointed into the bag. Its speed is not super important. Super speedy Falcon Blade is very, very helpful. Okay. Um, the Falcon Blade is not only weapons, it's actually items generally. So the Falcon Blade helps the banana go faster also. That's really cool. I'd kind of like this turned this way instead to have an open slot for some other item. I know I want to upgrade this bow. Now we have various crit items. We put there and there. They're both being fully critted up. We have a bunch of daggers. Right now I'm thinking between do I want the daggers to get the speed bonus or do I want the, um, the luck generators instead? So if we're trying to go for crit, then luck generation is most important, which means we actually want carrots here and here, I think. Uh, we're still low stamina usage at make one, use one. The banana is only healing currently. Uh, Lucky Piggy wants to point at this bow. That's looking at that bow. Um, I don't think we use this bow anymore, but I'll keep it for the moment. All right, now just piles of daggers and all the daggers are the same currently. None of them are upgraded. dagger put here so now we want to speed up our banana again we can just throw luck in wherever the extra pig here would only give us more money that might be okay i'm gonna have the whetstone there i believe now we don't have the luck producer on this i would like the luck producer on there it also has a higher chance of selling when you Oh, the bigger thing is, sorry, if you hit 20 luck, you get 40 random buffs. That's huge. We're not going to get to 20 luck on this build, I don't think. At least not right now. we we'll start with 2, 3, 4. And then we gain... All of every hit on this gains more. Probably reason to make this weapon go faster. But I've already organized this way. I'm okay with that. Cap. I need another bag. We have no bag space, unfortunately. So I could get rid of carrots. So do we care more about flat luck or possible generation of empowerment for more damage? Yeah, I agree that our piggy should get leveled up also. I, I, I definitely agree with that. Um, at what cost though? Like I'm okay with the healing herbs. I guess, I guess, I guess we can go for this. And then... I guess that for right now. We need the daggers. So the daggers are free damage. Um, like, yeah, if there are spikes on the enemy, then, then that is a problem. But free damage is nice. Like they don't use any stamina at all. All right, we'll try this. We'll try this. Um, yeah, I think I agree with you, Kofu. The additional clover will come in. We'd love to get this back in when we can, but not right now. No. Okay. How much do these sell for? One, right? Okay. I'm always looking for things I can buy for one and sell back for one, but let's see how it goes. Okay. Ain't no spikes. Ain't no spikes. Definitely blinding is happening here. Um, no resurrection also, we're gonna win this. Cool. Hey, it's a bag. Okay, so ideally I want this piggy. Yeah, 
I want this piggy pointing at this also, like right there, ideally. So, gain two more luck when battle starts. When this weapon crits, this weapon attacks twice. It's crazy. That's crazy. Absolutely insane. Um, I don't have anything that increases crit chance right now. So it's just Falcon Blade attacking very fast. Hopefully it crits eventually. Okay. Um, so I want this piggy here, kind of. He is taking a back space I don't exactly enjoy. Okay. We have another bag. That's super great. Um... I'd like our beloved banana to get more speed. Not sure on that placement, we'll see. Okay, uh, so we have 14 money now. Let's go through and see what we can get. Hey, Jonah, we changed off of 60 seconds. I'm really enjoying 60 seconds. Oh, good call. You're absolutely right. The acorns do increase crit chance. So we want those both on the Falcon Blade, which they are. Thank you. Uh, Jonah, we were playing 60 seconds. We actually won 60 seconds, and so we returned to our earlier scheduled uh, gambling addiction game. <laughs> so here we are. Here we are. All right. Um... Yeah, having this pig here was very, very bad. So I can move you to here instead. The pigs are no longer wasting space there. So another weapon slash dagger that would be A-OK. -okay. But if we do this, put that back there. Uh, let's do some rolling and see what we can find. I was thinking I'd like some armor. Um, ideally, I'd like to have the leather armor, I think. So I don't know if there are any holy armor upgrades that are obvious synergies here. Let's see. Okay. Holy armor, just start with two regen for every holy item. That is the path to invulnerability. Um, the moon armor, gain more armor. Also gain some mana. I don't know what mana is used for, honestly. Uh, corrupted armor cleanses debuffs. That could be useful against... Um, Reaper builds. My t-shirt is backwards? Oh, it is. I can move the other side of the screen. If, if you prefer this side, I can do that and flip. But I've been told that people like this side more for this game. But yes, the, the camera is reverse reverse today. If I leave it uh, normal direction, then when I look towards you all, I look towards this side. I've been told it's very strange seeing me look this direction and talk to you, so I... I don't know. I don't know how to think about what is best in, in streaming. Uh, we just need armor, though. I clearly just need armor. I'd like to buy this, but boy, how do you space? Now, the bird... The bird does allow us to... have items for even faster. So if we put the bird here, then good lord. <laughs> good lord, the speed, the speed, the speed. But we actually can't put it there because we can't move... Oh, I didn't mean to get by, actually. But we can't move up and down anymore. We need to move something out the way. I'll be over one, actually. Junk the daggers. I love the daggers. The daggers are my best friends ever. The daggers have been very loyal to me all my life. <laughs> um, for right now, we'll imagine the whetstone lives there. Now, if we buy the bloody amulet, we can put that on one of the daggers. And that'll allow us to 
get some life steal when the daggers fire. Or we can take this hope final leather armor and make vampire armor, which consumes one's health to make armor, I believe. Is that correct? Consumes one health to make armor. We don't have a lot of life steal right now, so that's probably not a good way to go. I didn't mean to reserve that. But hey, more speed. Okay. So, 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 so. I think we'll put the speed bag there. Either that or on a dagger. We can't fit any more on the Falcon Blade. I think I'll be fine, I guess. Or, is it actually more important to have speed on the Fortuna's Hope? The reason why that might be very useful is because when it fires, it has a chance of making more and more luck. Where this speed of firing is just, it does more damage than the Fortuna's does. Yeah, I think luck generation matters more than just about anything. Other than, you know, staying alive. Doesn't mean we have the awkward situation of a pig being inside of the uh, speed bag, also. It's okay. Uh, I know I'm not going to use this bow again. Fast weapons. I've seen people use the fancy fen fencing rapier. I don't believe it goes into what we're currently trying to do, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I moved a uh, acorn out the way. It's so not going to do that, but it just stacks very, very fast. And uh, gains d uh, damage. That stacks damage more and more and more and more and more luck. I think right now, no, though. We could get another dagger in. So we either another dagger or the carrot for additional empower. Oh, the carrot's good there because being touched by both of the piggies. That's great. So no daggers allowed. We're one money away from the stamina here. The more important part of the stamina is let us have uh, another item touching the carrot there. Another one of the garlics for more armor. Okay. Uh, I'm saving the banana. I don't know if they actually need it. Uh, five wins, uh, one loss. No, no, no. It's been five wins, four losses on round 11. I believe. I think we got one health back, though. I think it's actually been five and five. I think it's been five and five. It's been a very, very rough go. But here comes round 11. Uh, we're in poison, so just do a lot of damage before she can poison you to death, please. If she had armor, it would be a very different story, but... Cool. Um, we were fairly close to out of stamina. That said, the banana was about to fire again, so I think we'd be okay still. But... Cool. That is how the build's supposed to work. Uh, it's overwhelming damage before you die. I don't know if I'm supposed to have more of these. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I, I, I think I'm not supposed to add more bows and arrows because I can't sustain additional stamina right now for sure. I think I've seen this build played as like just do as much damage as possible burn all possible stamina and if you kill them great and if you don't you lose so with that in mind i'm kind of thinking maybe we should get more stamina items just hope for the best this is on sale at least so probably a tiny little bag can help us get another banana in Also, delightfully, the bird can see a banana, so help even more. Nice. Um, more carrot, more empower. I do like the idea of more carrots, but yeah, I guess we need the carrot in place of the um, the garlic. Garlic is armor or block, rather. Carrot is empower. I think that's it for now. Another battle here, so that's how it goes. 
Not only we had six wins, I believe we will get positive points from this round, uh, from this uh, this match. All right, so she's building Devos again. Her armor's down though, so just do damage. Just do damage, please. Her armor's refilling too fast for me. Oh, that's unfortunate. So this is a case where the spikes definitely built up a little bit. Uh, that was unfortunate. And yeah, that was too bad. That was too bad. We got through her armor, but then I'm not quite sure what happened after that. So the steel's regen. Every seven regen you use, you gain 80 max health and four in power. So she at least got one burst of that, I think. Eh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Anyway, glad we survived. Glad we survived there. Plus zero! No gain, no loss. We're right where we're supposed to be, apparently. Now, you might recall about 15 minutes ago, I said, well, that's it for today's stream. No, it's not. <laughs> If anyone closed the channel, if any of you, uh, like, went to bed, I apologize. But time for a little bit more of a good thing. I told Nam to be done by 12.30. We have one hour left to go. All right, all right, all right. What are we feeling? What are we feeling? I know I should be playing Reaper. I just don't feel it, though. So I think we're a new Pyromancer or Berserker, probably. Let's unlock our Pyromancer item. We have an open trophy right now. So she still has locked her fancier glow. Oh, apparently I clicked the button for fancier gloves. We're doing fancier uh, shining balls of fire. All right. Uh, like I said, there was a patch today that uh, weakened the Pyromancer's regen or, uh, resurrection build, but did not weaken dragons. So going in, I'd like some dragons. That said, we'll see what we got. Uh, 74 gold currently. How much farther can we go? I clearly need... Do I want to go Torch or do I want to go Sword? So the advantage of Torch is if the Torch is inside of... The, if the lit Torch is inside of the fire pit, you get 5 more health and it's a fire item, so you get 5 more health. So plus 10 health for using the Torch early seems good. And then I'm going to grab a second Sword. And... Will we roll? Yesterday we did try a Fire Mage build with like a, a Flaming Staff. It didn't work super great though. Okay, how do I place these things? There we go. All right, round one, uh, t test your might, I think. I think about gloves. Think about gloves, about gloves. It'd be faster weapon. We don't really need a faster weapon, at least not at this point. They have two weapons, we have two weapons. They have of reducing uh, damage done, but I believe they've chosen poorly not to have a whetstone. Good, good, good. Uh, so that will turn into a uh, flaming torch next. We'll give it the... I'm actually not gonna give it the coal. Because right now the coal counts as fire and give us five more health there. We did go a little low on, um, and we did go a little bit low on stamina at the end there. So I'm gonna grab this. Would Tamara Resorti be happier having played more backup battles or having spent more time with his wife? Uh, today Resorti knows full well that Noms really enjoyed trivia last night, and all of Noms' day yesterday was spent uh, in meetings. And so today Resorti knows that Noms woke up and said, I have 79 unread work emails. I need to spend the morning working. So I think if I went upstairs and said like, hi, sweetie, I'm done with stream early. Do you want to hang out? She would say no. <laughs> no. She'd probably say, oh, it's good to see you. How about you sit down and do some work and I'll do some work also. I think coming here at 1230 is the right thing to do fundamentally. So that's how there you go, I do believe. One second. We can have the sword be empowered again. Cool. Noms works very hard, and I appreciate her very much, but I think part of being a good husband for her is you know, acknowledging that she needs time without me sometimes. Would you all prefer that we play the game at top at higher speed? Like I enjoy watching the, the rounds go. 
We can go through them much, much faster if we want to. Alright. Burning Torch, five more fire. It's good. It's good, good, good. We now put the coal in to give additional uh, heat generation. All right, chili for heat. As of right now, chili goobert is a real possibility. Don't hold your breath. There's always a possibility of chili goobert. This armor does not build into sun armor. The other one does. That's sensible, I believe. This person has no stamina gain, um, so as long as my stamina doesn't run out too fast, you'll be okay. Hey, my stamina's gone. <laughs> now we're okay. Now we're still over consuming by a little bit, but another banana would fix it, of course. All right, we find a second whetstone. We get that hero sword. That blazing sword is coming already very, very, very soon. Um, I move this over here. My geometrical reasoning fails me. I'm trying to find a way to... I guess right now we actually don't care about this. Right, right now we don't need to have any openings in the uh, our pit. Wait, what did I have before? <laughs> How did I set up before that was working just fine? It must be like that. About that way, I, kn I know I had this right before. That's what it was. That's what it was. All right, all good, all good, all good. We have four money left. Uh, gonna save it. Gonna save it. Gonna save it. Better sword, better good. Getting the blinds. Just keep swinging. Hey, good, good, good. Four wins. I like it. Uh, yeah, had some stamina problems. Delighted to be able now to uh, get a stamina bag in. Stamina bag can be placed such a way where the banana will no longer be consuming anything here. Nice. Mm, blueberries would help us fire the banana more quickly. Always love another coal. So we're consuming 1.2 stamina. We don't need the banana right now. Um, I believe the Blazing Sword consumes the same amount of stamina as the Hero Sword. So I'm going to grab the chili and sort of wish I'd grab the banana later, I'm guessing. There's got a lot of pigs. A lot of pigs gain a lot of health. We are good on stamina now. I do not know what changes make that so. <laughs> like, last time we were struggling a bit. All right, behold the blazing sword. It actually uses less stamina. I thought it was, um, yeah, I thought it was 0.7, also 0.6. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so that is the setup for now. Eventually I want to move the chili pepper out. Um, So, uh, early player's card, sure, why not? Cheap bags, love them. Cool. Oh, this is going to be lots of spikes. This person's probably going for Hedgehog Bill ultimately. Uh, yesterday, someone on Discord shared a Hedgehog Bill they fought against that was genuinely eight hedgehogs. It was ridiculous. Absolutely silly. Uh, so we have not yet seen um, the red whelp shell. I would like that. But in the short term, I'm okay taking you. And then I'm going to 
sell one fire to get another coal. You have once we level the sword up to the uh, three or two uh, slot sword, we have another coal for that. Stuns, no! No stuns allowed! Uh, no stuns so far, there's a stun. Uh, nice idea, nice idea. Stamina problems though, unfortunately. Alright, so I sure, sure, sure do want to be playing as... Um, yeah, I sure do want to play as, as Scale Warden. I just enjoy Scale Warden a whole bunch. But with what we have right now, I think Firebender makes the most sense. They were kind of in a delightful neutral build. So I don't like Cryomancer. I've tried Cryomancer twice now. And the issue is, if you cannot guarantee you'll get ice items, you kind of just stand there like a dumb dumb. Like, well, if I had ice items, I could slow people down, but I don't. <laughs> so I believe we're set up for Fireman, uh, Firebender currently, but do I force, do I force dragons? I mean, dra dragons kind of operate on their own. Just stay alive until you, uh, until the dragons kill things for you. Let's do Firebender. Can't stop, won't stop. Let's do Firebender. Hey, how's it going, uh, Will? It's good seeing you. Yes, indeed. We did win at the, uh, delightful backpack. No, not win at backpack battling. We won at the delightful, um... 60 seconds. There are many ways to win one in one way, one in one way though. Exactly not possible. For Cryomancer, you need ice items, uh, but they are still randomly appearing, so there's no guarantee they'll show up everywhere all at once. You'd like to have more and more and more, but they're just not there often. So what we need right now are mana generation items. Definitely so. Pardon me for 20 seconds. We have a visitor. Hello, Noms. Oh, you're still playing backpack battles. I was playing a different game. Uh, but I don't believe you. <laughs> people in chat will tell you I was playing a different game. And uh, we decided to to take a little break from that because we won. I'm playing a little game now called uh, Backpack Battles. Why is your backpack on fire? Uh, because we're playing as a pyromancer. And the pyromancer is, is needing the fire. Oh. Oh, indeed. Oh. Uh, this is Goobert. Uh, Goobert is the sweetest big boy of all times. Uh, Goobert there is going to become Chili Goobert. He's going to eat the chili. And then he's going to, like, goober people with chili? Goobert all over them. Mm. Uh, morbing absolutely everywhere, it's true. Mm. It's it's goober time. All right, so I want to move this bag down in order to... The way Goobert works is when things around him activate, he uh, able to heal. So five activations and he heals. So when I have items around him that are able to activate. Like the... that banana? Exactly right. The banana and so on. I have a banana in my backpack. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Like, actually, may I show you that more closely? She actually has a banana. It's amazing. Are, are you Banana Goobert? Mm -hmm. I knew it. I knew Look, it. I'm, I'm sideways, just like Goobert. <laughs> you are sideways, just like Goobert. I think you do a very good Goobert impression, Noms. I'm very impressed. Uh, what am I trying to do here? Um, it's true. Alice uh, reports to you, Noms, that the New Yorker has begun doing mini puzzles on Thursdays and Fridays. Isn't that pure shenanigans? I mean, like I said, I think that all of those magazines and newspapers are actually the same one <laughs> maybe ai is actually writing all of the same content in fact maybe our crosswords are produced by ai do we know whether ai can write crosswords has anybody I, done that yet ai can almost certainly write crosswords the question know. is are they any good what am i trying to do so what i'm trying to do is find a way to have both the chili and the pepper or chili and the banana activate on goober simultaneously I think that's how you do it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. A banana requires three slots? It does. Ugh. Yes, this game's like partially Tetris along the rest. So uh, we want to find other items to make Goobert happy. Um, 
though at this point, uh, friendly fire here is the adorable. Uh huh. Friendly fire also wants fire around him, but for right now, it's more important to make Goobert happy because friendly fire requires having um, mana. Also, we have no mana currently. I would like to let you know that I finished the kumquat preserves. Hey, thank you. Uh, one You're of our welcome. colleagues made us kumquat preserves as a gift. Don't really like kumquat that much. Uh, where uh, Nam's tolerates it at least, maybe even enjoys it. I like marmalade. Yeah, thank you. You're I welcome. can hook up Goober to the fire dude. Um, the problem is what the fire dude does is he needs to eat mana to trigger, so nothing happens there, unfortunately. Now, do you think you'd enjoy playing Backup Battles? Uh, it is similar to Tetris. Uh, Elsa says maybe you could enjoy it. E. Do you want to try playing it right now? No. Okay. I'm eating. You are eating. You are eating live on stream. I'm uh, eating and, like, I seem to not have enough lung capacity. Are you having trouble breathing? Not, like, in a way that's, like, problematic. You're just not feeling great? Yeah, I just have decreased lung capacity. You should probably go to doctor, I suspect. It's okay. Uh, El Turtle, good seeing you. I definitely agree he only needs one uh, chili. It's just being used to, for activations for healings. Hurry a win! Hurry a win. And now Goober becomes Chili Bert. Look how spicy he is. Pretty spicy, yeah? Yeah, he's sweating now. He is indeed sweating now. It's a real problem. Okay, so. Are unconnected bags an option? Yeah, you can have bags like, floating out wherever. They don't have to touch nice fillet. Nice fillet? Nice fillet. Uh, we're going to use this banana for Burt Activation 2. I would love to find a blueberry. That'd be good. Uh, people in chat are suggesting, how about a hot shower to clear up any gunk inside you? I don't think I have gunk. I think I'm just breathing shallowly. Uh, would you like to take some deep breaths together? I, do, I already did. They're together, though. Ready? Well, <gasps> oh. <laughs> That's sad. Uh, we're currently looking for well, surely Mana Orb and surely Morph Speedy Bag. Um, I can't afford both of them right now. That so, fox has three tails. Uh, the fox has three tails? I'm actually blocking him. And also no. a, a, a uh, horn. A unicorn. a unicorn horn, yep. It's like Cerberus plus a fox plus obviously. That's true. That's true. All together. I can make video games too. You could make video games also, it's true. Uh, definitely agreed that um, having the swords on Goobert would help quite a bit um, because, yeah, because they trigger fastest here. So let's do a little bit of remaking on that front. Oh, <laughs> here's my favorite part of the game. Ready, Doms? This is Goobert. He's a big sweetie. Yeah, he also likes to fly! Oh, no. Oh, no. Fly, Goobert! Oh, fly! No. What does he do? He looks like a giant strawberry. He's not a strawberry. Or a liver. A, a liver? You think he's an or? <laughs> or a piece of ham. What do you mean a piece of, how dare you? He's not a piece of ham. Goobert's a loving and respected member of our family. How dare you? Uh, so now that we have mana, we'll be able to, um, yeah, now that we have mana, we'll be able to fire off, friendly fire more often. Now the awkward part of this is that Chili Goobert is not actually fire, so he's not getting any bonus, or not giving any bonuses to friendly fire there. We'll change of lay a little bit more. In the See, future. Marks, listen to Marks. Marks like, I go away for 20 minutes and we're back to backpack battles. Oh, yeah. That said, I don't think Marks is sad about this. I think Matt Marks is pleased. Oh, okay. Who would not be pleased to have backpack battles show up on stream? It is surely the greatest of all possible games. Something like that. You're right. I can move so you look at him more close, closely. Yeah. He's turned this way, unfortunately, though. So that he can charge off of the Exactly door. right. Gotta charge off the neighbors next door. Uh, we'd like to have an item over here, ideally, for the mana orb to charge off of. But there's not space there for a four square. Unless we go like this, then there is. And so banana can live here. So now at least three are firing. That's enough right now. What if you turn this upside down? Turn the upside down? No, the entire bag. Why? Because then they won't have this empty space. <laughs> so <laughs> you're, you're desirous of having things look nice too. You for this? Yeah. Yeah, it looks nicer, but um, the issue then is I don't see a way oh, I can have. Well, the way it was before 
Maybe it's three on the bottom and two on top. You like that no, more? No, no, no. Uh, this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you can have both your banana. The problem though with this is the banana takes, oh, you mean like this. Get now. Okay, so I've mentioned previously that on the ASVAB, I did very poorly at geometrical reasoning. Like, I don't know how to see things. I need them explained to me in great, great detail. So, I appreciate you helping, though. You're welcome. All right, so, 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 now so. Now you can scooch that over. I scooch over nothing. Okay. <laughs> you prefer to be at Lakira instead? Yeah. Like that more? Oh, if it I looks... don't know if it helps Mr. Goober at all. That's all I'm saying. No, sure. unfortunately, Goober's oh, okay. only affected... Oh, you're actually right. Rainy, you're actually right. So, the banana being here gets a bonus from touching another food. So, Noms, you are the superior player this day. Well done, well done, well done. I have to go put some classes on the schedule. Bye. All right, see you, Noms. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you in about half an hour. Okay. Hi, That's a lot of pigs. That's a tremendous number of pigs to maximize uh, health before losing half health at uh, match start. I don't think it's worked out for her, but I might be wrong about that. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Who's Noms? Yeah, she's my wife. That's my wife, Noms. Absolutely. Oh, I should have saved that bag. Definitely a mistake on that. All right, so the Platinum customer card wants to touch legendary godlier unique items. I think I only have one of those right now. So, uh, card. Going here would be ideal. No Phoenix. I refuse the Phoenix this day. Okay, if I sell these, we definitely want to buy this armor and sail especially. All of that just to make the card work. <laughs> uh, I think that's all fine then, yeah. I think that's fine. That'll be fine. All right, here comes giant axe causing giant problems. Luckily, it's still very, very slow. Now, if we have the crits against them, we might just die anyway. But yeah, they don't have any speed on that axe, so it works just fine for now. All right, we could take the win. Just pure wins all the way through. That's plus 15. Uh, that does not get us to next level. So we got to keep pushing Keep pushing to wherever comes next. Okay. Um. We'd like this very badly. So if we can just find a two by two, we'd be very pleased to have it. Awesome. I ask, I get. It's a beautiful day. That also gives a further debuff reflection off the card. Does our undefeated continue? Let's see what the Reaper has to say about that. Suddenly pocket sand. Oh dear, we're starting missing tremendously now. Just keep swinging. Come on, Goober, you can save us. Oh, Goober tried his best. Goober tried his best, unfortunately. Um, get it close, at least. So, what does Darksaber do? Yeah, Darksaber, if there's mana production, which is happening off the blueberries, causes more and more blinds. So, 14 blinds, a little unfortunate. Yeah, this is definitely an anti-build, uh, intending not to keep her alive, per se, with armor, but instead to make it so you can't hit her while the poison works you down. With a few more hits we would have won that thing, but that's okay. Uh, I give you fancy armor now. And... We want to have more fire around that, of course. Hmm... So this is looking like kind of an awkward setup over here. Is there a way... So I want to see if I can use these two spots and this one spot together to free this bag. I don't think there's a way to do so right now. We can grab more chili though. 
Move weapons to fanny packs. I mean, you're not wrong about that. If I had more fanny packs, I'd be very happy to. Uh, I want to keep Goobert going as much as possible. Oh, Mana Blade. I forgot Mana Blade was a thing. Mana Blade gives mana, I believe, under what conditions? So, mana is when you hit, you gain one mana. When you have 20, you steal life. It's primarily about producing the mana. Okay. Uh, it consumes 0.6 more stamina. We are having some stamina problems, so I'm not quite sure I can run all of this. So we might go to the Burning Sword. Actually, not sure what to get rid of. Our, yeah, we're currently burning 1.9. Oh, an ad's running. I apologize. Uh, so, so let's see real quick. Sorry, sorry, ad watchers. Or is it uh, uh, text? There's sorry, sorry, ad viewers. I appreciate you out there. You're doing great work, but I forgot to mention the ads are coming. Sorry, sorry, ad viewers. All right, cool. Um, toss the torques and matters with fuel class item. You have to write out that. We do lose five. Yeah, we do lose five health for doing so. Actually, ten health for doing so. But that is sensible enough. Cool. Hooray! One more armor will do as well. And one more armor will allow us to have another chili here. Neat. All right, let's see how high our uh, our heat gets up to. Desperate for at least forty heat for the regen. Oh no, the giant, giant, giant sword. Um, it doesn't have a mechanic for speeding up, does it? Yeah, I believe I believe we win this. Oh shit, that's pretty hard, never mind. I believe nothing anymore. And he's beginning to believe again. He's beginning to believe! I believe our last hit there was 100 or so. Is that true? Oh, we hit 80. At 80 heat, Friendly Fire says, I got this bro, and steps in with 100 damage. That's what you save up for. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Did he miss at some point? So miss a clause of attack. I think maybe there's stamina out. Because I'm not seeing any... Yeah, out of stamina on Busted Blade. We would have died here otherwise. The lucky us to survive the big attack and... Through our stamina. Good. Where did the vamp come from? That's a good question. <laughs> That's a very good question. Um, we must have stolen buffs. Is that right? Because Hungry Blade gives you one vampirism. One. Oh, good call. Yes, the flame made regen and the vamp blade stole the regen and made vampirism. That's delightful. That's an interesting, unexpected synergy. We like it. Uh, so as long as we're hitting, we're getting more and more and more um, mana. Hello, pumpkin. What do you do, pumpkin? On hit, there's a half chance of... Oh, there's no stamina. Interesting. On a hit, there's a half chance of stunning for half a second. With fatigue starts, we gain more heat. I mean, things that cause no stamina and have a chance of stunning it seems pretty darn amazing. Is a food that triggers fast with other food. So this does not feel like part of my build exactly, but would I mind it? <laughs> I'm not sure I'd mind it. 
I'd like very much to move all of these things around. A good call, another unique for the uh, platinum as well. That's absolutely true. Yeah, I, I agree also, though, I just need space. Like, I, I, there's enough thing I want for space, namely shifting things around so that Chili Bird's up one at least. So you have more fire for friendly fire. Speed for weapons. Still looking for whetstones. Whetstones would still be absolutely amazing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take all this apart and see if I can move Bert up one now. But move up one, then. I guess over to here would be fine, too. Okay, over... We go over again, but the sword's not long enough to proc him and also be in the fire pit. I guess that's okay. Because being in the fire pit only helps with uh, counting as a fire item. That does also. Okay, except for the Platinum card, everything here is now what it's supposed to be. We'll look at this again in the future and see if we can move things around some more. Alright, speediness for... For what? Speediness for... Uh, banana, especially. Now, I recognize where these are currently. They don't need to be there. They can be at the very bottom here. Blueberry would fit here and be fine. Okay, let's start with it that way and then probably change the rounds so it works better. Because chili should touch chili if possible. Maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, one open spot for Chili Goobert. I think that'll work. So right now we're neutral on stamina, which means the um, bananas are working primarily for health, but as we have speed on the weapons, we will overconsume eventually. Can't possibly add in another sword. Or can I? <clears throat> So one possibility would be putting Friendly Fire up a little bit more. And what would work nicely about that is then only taking up one space inside the fire pit. Oh, Whetstone. Good eye, thank you. We need one more of those. Um, if we keep moving Friendly Fire up, we have Friendly Fire inside of a speedy bag. But that one requires to have you know, a lot more fire around him, possibly. And then it requires moving fire in places like this. I think for right now staying in lower is a little smarter. So we can still get the fire bag involved. Or if it starts speed bag involved. Manathers could stay underneath Goober, like here. Is that preferable for some reason? It still touches. I switched the player card in the far left of the armor. Uh, yeah, the player card though, because it's a platinum one, wants to touch unique items for uh, reflecting debuffs. So it should touch both of these. And I'm saying that the loss of the fire there is acceptable. I'm not quite sure the value of this is. Very hard up one. Oh, good call. That's actually much smarter. Thank you. Good thinking. OK. 
Okay, banana could be basically rubber. Um, I don't see a way to get into here without costing fire. So I'm just gonna throw it here. All right, we had four tries left to survive six rounds. Will we do it? We shall see. They have armor, they have resurrection. What's this potion? I actually don't know it. Vampiric potion. If both of them are below 80, they consume it and gain one damn prism and steal 10 life. Hey, stamina problems. Remember the part where I said we're fine on stamina? That was not quite true. Um. Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this nonsense here? So, there's no major fire generation here. Uh, and the Molten Daggers are stealing fire. They're stealing heat. So by the time the Resurrection came, there was no heat left at all to reincarnate. I think it was reincarnation of about, like, 20 health. That was a little strange. Do weapons count as fire items to the heat guy? Um, the sword does. The, the, the small sword does. The large sword does not. It, this one is magic and vampiric. This one's fire. So we could put it like so. But I want to touch the other sword to give a bonus to um, its damage dealing. And the whetstone procs only once, unfortunately. So if I can find a blueberry or something to go there, that'd be great. To help chili or goober a little bit more but as of right now no let's think about more chili possibly i'm desperate for whetstone like absolutely if i found a whetstone it's the best thing in the world he went above his head here we're already maximum left to right unfortunately i'm above his head here i see i see i see um but then the swords don't touch and the burning sword Every five heat gives one more damage to his neighbor. So more damage outcoming is more important than this. Now we can move that down and hope we find a fire item to go there, but no guarantees. Right, more speed, more speed, more speed. Because we're struggling on heat, because we're struggling on heat, not heat, because we're struggling on stamina, rather, it's not clear that speeding up my weapons is a good idea. So, speeding up the chilies would be just fine. What am I thinking? That's not gonna work. Um. Like this. Good. More space for fire items for friendly fire. It's gotten a tiny bit overly back CD. You're all awesome. I love you very much. And then too many things of do this, do this, do this. Let me, let me do my things. Let me do my things. I got us this far. Let me do my things. All right, here comes, let's survive through poison, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, I need to move the recently acquired fanny pack into helping us with um, stamina instead of helping us with, with heat. Now, that said, we got to 80 heat, and so the 100 damage came through again. But yeah, stamina problems consist continue, but yeah, the ability to pick up enough heat to get that maximum 100 damage is huge. It's an absolute game changer. Okay, let me change some things around then. I should have saved that armor instantly. Okay, let's remove... You out to here... I'm uh, not exactly sure about that placement, because it's unlikely we have anything heat-wise that benefits from speed. 
Other than the Draconic Orbs, I guess. Every 2.5 seconds it tries to steal something. Okay, and then... Right now... Platinum Orb, or Platinum Card is so dumb there. We don't want to do that. Ah, we're going to leave it that way and come back in a moment. Card needs to go... Like so. And we'd ideally like to have a chili touching this banana also. But to do that requires me to figure out my worst enemy ever placement of items. Uh, this is not ideal, but it works fine. If I include this also, it might this work? Is heat more important than HP? That's a fine question. Um, if you're asking about the banana placement, like why am I wanting to prefer the banana to um, to heat production? It's because I need stamina, actually. Stamina is the big, des big desire here. Okay, after all of that, I did not put a spot for the, <laughs> the customer card. <laughs> I was feeling so good, and then suddenly, what's this again? <laughs> uh, okay. We could do a complete remake. I'm not feeling that. What I'm feeling, though, is it's time to get this thing figured out. So you go there. You can all move over like... Oh, gosh, stop it. Just stay there like so. Then put this thing here. You come along. Like so. Like so. Perfection. My card goes back to here again. I, I can never set this upgrade. I'm not going to connect these right now. I'm going to keep the stamina generation over the stamina dump. Uh, we need more fire items. The we roll for one. We'll get a fire item. Son of a gun! Actually, could you have the, uh, the garlic? There's no place to put it would help. I have a potion bag. It's kind of stuck in the middle there. Um, yeah, I appreciate the good thought to use a potion bag. It just I require a remake of some sort. All right, look at those gems. Look at that axe. Look at that. Lots of stuff's happening, including stuns. So here's their battle rage. We're going to die. There's no way to survive. Cool. 136 damage. Brutal, brutal, brutal. This is similar to the build we did yesterday. Uh, that, that stunning weapon that speeds up um, uh, speeds up the axe's crit possibilities is just really, really silly fun. Hello, Tim. Good to see you, Tim. All right. At this point, I'm intending to move the potion bag out. So I need to have that for the sun armor to fit. I'd then like to have something there with the four actually instead. The card goes here to affect as much as possible. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I have the one by one. That works fine. Back to this again. A banana. Good. Potion. Good. Chili. Good. Fire. Good. Good enough. Cat. Tim, what do you do these days? Uh, steal random buff. Uh, 30% chance to resist a debuff or crit, or the opponent's below 30, gain in power. I'm going to take the resistance to debuff or crit, I believe. I think more stamina. Um, speed your sword would be very cool also, but I'm... Continue to run my stamina possibilities. I'll save with a mind to curiosity in the future. 
I may be saving too many things. Hello to you. Lots and lots of food. This is a poison build on a ranger. I don't believe I've ever actually seen a poison build on a ranger. Which is not to say it's not good. Uh, they had an invulnerability for a moment there. Huh. Huh. So we ended up burning through all of our stamina. We did stamina out towards the end there. Um, yeah, I've never seen this build before. It's this poison ivy I've, I've seen but never selected. So a chance to resist debuffs for nature items they have. That's the food. When there's spikes, gain two more poison. So they have spike creation with the thorn whip. They have so much stamina, they could probably add in some of those basic bows also that cause spikes. Huh? Interesting. Interesting. Whichever way, stamina problems. So, more stamina potions. Good. More heat. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. I want this here, ideally. Present? I don't know. I've never used the present. Gain 500 buffs. Uh, receive items of higher value. I, I don't know. I don't know what that means exactly. Because it says instead of gold. Does that mean you stop gaining gold? And they've like trading the things you already own? I don't know. Randomness scares me. I'm going to leave the present behind. Yeah, I don't want to sell things I have right now. They're precious to me, obviously. Uh, how about a nice little bag? That is not a nice little bag. <laughs> it is a bag, but it does not fit hardly anywhere. I guess that's fine. But then the beloved gloves. Beloved glove. What are you going to do, beloved gloves? Faster banana. Sure, why not? The present gives you a bunch of costly items. You want gold, you can sell them. Oh, okay, I see. You just get a bunch of items. That might be good or might not. Understood. I would ideally like these gloves to go right here. Like, that would be super, super cool. But we'll need to find something else to remake this part. I think to make that work. We could move... We could move the stamina bag to stand this way instead. We can then fit the gloves in on the sword. But then we'd have no way of firing off this chili pepper. Yes, we would. Yes, we would. We are losing flame creation on friendly fire, but I think it's okay. I kind of like that. kind of like that. Mm, wherever's fine. God. Three tries left. Must survive two rounds. We're going to get a survival bonus for sure. All right, we got four seconds of invulnerability. There's the first one. Oh, does? Oh, there's a second one. So that is that. Uh, we're at plus 65, plus 77 poison with her invulnerability gone. So I think we don't survive, but man, I'm really surprised. Wow! <laughs> so four seconds of invulnerability and then a tremendous amount of poison. Uh, thank you to whoever does the lifesteal here. Yeah, so uh, Friendly Fire's delightful regeneration. Uh, plus the 103 heat. We were swinging so unbelievably fast. Um, I'm amazed we stay alive. That was that was pretty good, though. Probably the bananas were part of that. All right. We got one last round. This right here is the final fight. It's time to junk anything we don't want. That's it. I have no idea what we don't want. Uh, no Phoenix allowed. Awesome. If we had more gloves, it'd be 
cool to speed up friendly fire. But... I'd be losing his flame bonus of 10%. So every single fire is 10% already. These are all 20%. So having another fire hero do that same work. I don't think the glove makes sense. Awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, we could speed up a chili or a banana. I'm going to speed up this banana again. All right. I think that might be that. One more fire. If we move this over... We can get one more fire onto Friendly Fire. And another one! Those are unbelievably lucky rolls. Got some fire. So good. So one missing fire spot there. A few missing on Sun Armor. One last round. Let's see how this one goes. The final fight. Oh dear. <laughs> so they managed to get their whetstones. Is the story on that one. Uh, they're going to have some invulnerability... They're producing less mana than I am. There's their invulnerability, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. So the invulnerability there uh, really slowed us down in a big way. Ah, that's a, that's a pretty cool build. Uh, so hitting your whetstones. Like, how many whetstones is this? So two, four, six, eight whetstones for that. That's insane. And then the crowns for invulnerability. It seems that a lot of the really successful builds at this stage um, are crown builds. Um, I'm a little surprised that they only have the one mana orb, but it was working pretty well. That is... That's an interesting build. I mean, again, the eight whetstones is no joke, though. I like my build more. Shame on you and your whetstone build. Anyway, we're currently at 74... Do we get 26 points? 25! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I was so ready to say, look, we hit platinum on somebody! Oh, no platinum. No platinum. <laughs> Well, I had a very good time. Uh, friends, it is indeed now 12.30, the part where I said I'd go to a buy today. So thank you for hanging out. Never platinum. Never, ever platinum. That's okay. I hope you had a good time. Thanks for hanging out on this Saturday. Tomorrow's my day off. So I'll be back on uh, Monday with a sponsor stream of New Cycle. There will be more backpack battles in our future. I don't know when. I don't know how. But it's time for me to go away. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate y'all very much. See you again real, real soon. All right. Let's play some backpack bat. No, not really. Not really. Goodbye. <laughs>